work session on the budget, and it is now 6:33. Still do a roll call. Do we need to have a roll call? Yes. Do we need so would you please do a roll call, sir? Mayor McLaughlin? Here. Mr. McIntyre? Here. Here. Mr. Reynolds? Here. Mr. Rick Lowry? Here. Mr. Mike Lowry? Here. Let's get Mr. Craybar. Mr. Craybar. We <laughs> got you out of order. <laughs> Mr. Zambach should be here momentarily. Just to put that in the record, if you will. have you out of order. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I understand. Shall we go ahead? How did you want to proceed? Just briefly, I wanted to tell you about the handout. Uh, we don't have to dwell on it. You might enjoy reading it. I did want to point out, though, um, I believe this is something that we had gotten every single year. I had not ever seen it, the need for it until this year. Um, Colleen had to give some input, and that's how they based, how they came up with our rating, which was a BBB plus. And they did say towards the end that they would be um, expecting to raise that if we meet some of their suggested um, requirements. But the thing I wanted to talk to you about was that they dwell or they stress the fact that um, that we, uh, the city relies on its 1% income tax. And it accounts for 66.5% of the general fund revenues um, in fiscal year 2013 it did. Um, so I just wanted to stress that, you know, this is an outside source and they're saying that we rely on our income tax. So that just tells us how important it really is. We all knew that. But even these people are telling us that it's that important. And I'm going to let Colleen take over and um, everybody throw out questions if you have them. You have a question? Yeah, I have a question about this. Okay. Okay. It's uh, what is it, 3B plus, which is about as close to an A as you can get. Right. Right. Uh, my question is, Colleen, did they see or did you give them a copy of the projected 2015 budget before they did this or after? The projected 2015? Yeah, did they know what our budget was before they did this? They asked for changes, so no, they don't see the budget because we don't have one. Okay. They but saw last they, year's, But they? they have last year's, yes. So they're basing this on last year's budget. That's what I'm getting at. Not and 2013, year. so they, they kind of keep the history going. Okay, that's my question. Thank you. Uh, Mr. McIntyre. To follow up on that, I, I think going through this real quick, because I, you know, I haven't read the whole thing, but it seems like they probably took the low amount um, in the our operating funds into account because under the outlook section, they, they go on here and say that the outlook, the expectation that the general funds will remain nominally low and they'll be challenged to maintain an operating balance without meaningful revenue growth. So it looks like they say, yeah. in, in whatever terms the finance people use, they're not, you're not going to have a lot of funds, and that's expected unless something were to change. So I, I, right. I assume that they could see that. Right. I have one last question. Sure, Mr. Uh, in here, it talks about how we maintain a five-year capital plan, but do not maintain the long-term financial plan. Will mm -hmm. we start doing that here shortly? Um, um, because they're recommending it, I'm guessing? That is something that we've always, I've always asked Richard to work on, and that is something that we are going to work on soon. But um, yeah, that is something that, I mean, it's silly to not have a five-year plan. We have a five-year CIP, but right, CIP. we've never done a five-year you do, uh, in, in order quick, you do get two. You do get two long-term plans. One was my wastewater one I turned in with a wastewater rate, and one other one was my water one I did at 20 years. So you have two of the 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 main ones outside of the general fund. But in order to get out fiscal watch, we had to have that. We had to have a five. He went was it beyond that. He hasn't done one for me since I've been here. No I had to hire somebody from account temps to do a five-year projection for me when I was working on the union contract because I didn't know if we could afford raises, and he couldn't do it. Yeah, well, like I said, in order to get out fiscal watch, I had to submit it. We had one in the contract. Five years? It was like five plus. It was, yes. But he said he was going to, and I said he's going to have to, has to be live because okay. you have to switch it around. Okay. Well, anyway, we don't want it's always good to have. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, my first budget workshop. So um, I think the way, and I don't know what your history is and what you, um, you can help direct Could you do me a favor? Could you speak up just a little bit more for us, if you would? Okay. You know, if you don't, we get old, you know. Yeah. Okay. I'm old. <laughs> Loud music, you know. I'm there, too. <laughs> Can you hear them or as questions? I mean, 
Now, as you're recording, do you have the ability to hear what you're hearing when you record? Okay. Can you pick up her? You're picking her up okay? Okay, because you've got your own microphone there. We set you up. Okay, thank you. Right. Sorry, Colleen, you just have, you have such a nice voice, but it's low. Soft. And it's, it's soft. It's peaceful. Quiet. Behind the counter. <laughs> Okay, so we'll, we'll kind of go through page by page to get started. Um, at the end of each page, we could maybe do some questions or some suggestions or some uh, however you want to see and we can sure. move forward. I don't, I've not done this before with a group. I just do it with the manager and the service director. So general fund, page one. That is, um, of course, we're going to concentrate under the first column. That's our proposed 2015 tax budget. Most of the revenue on this is duplicate to the tax budget that we passed in July to the auditors. If there have been changes, there's a, there's a few um, that we've picked up by the end of the year and made changes. But the, this is our base. This is where our money comes from for the general fund. These numbers should be extremely accurate as to what we project that we'll have coming in for 2015. You can look at the second column just to go over this first page to give you an example. Those are our actual revenues we took in in 2014. And then I give you two more years for a little bit of history. Right. Thank you. Do we have any questions on I our do have a question. Okay. The shower house rent. Yes. Do we actually mm -hmm. advertise that that it's available? Have we ever done that? It's usually not available. During the week it is, but the weekends are very... Usually. Pretty well booked during right. the weekends is right. how we're coming up with this amount. Right, and we are going to look at the rates again. We did raise the non-citizen rate last year, but we did not raise the local rates, so we're going to look at those. That's one of the projected. Do you think that's something that would be worthwhile, maybe, to advertise the fact that it is available? I think there may be a lot of people that are not aware that it is, to be quite honest. It's usually, I mean, if you're not, if you're not ahead of the schedule, you're not going to run it. And yeah. the thing is, you have to pay when you advertise, so it's kind of a how much you get for rent. Well, maybe we should bring it up at the council meetings a little bit more than it is available, and that during the week, a lot of times it is available. Mm -hmm. People have birthdays during the week a lot of times, and oh, maybe sure. they need a bigger place. There's a can... church that uses it like almost every Tuesday. There's um, the course, Parks and Recs uses it, um, you know, so it's useful. I, I, I would think if we do that, there's a possibility we might be able to add another thousand or two thousand dollars there i think it would be worth while trying okay would you not think we can just once a month put it on the agenda and talk and about just it bring it up and, you know and make really make it known that it's available during the week okay. most of the time during the week. weekends are pretty well booked but you have to check ahead for that. what do we what do you guys what do you guys oh, don't ask me you don't know where i'll talk to you no i don't i don't do that so i i mean uh, what do we do like hundred dollars a day and we've actually gone from running January. it a half a day and we will also run it now a quarter of a day if somebody just needs it for a meeting so we'll bring in the revenue where we can i have like twenty dollars increase but i could do it under this, um, just to point out the estate tax, um, it had been the last couple of years we had, this is actually what we received. We are no longer allowed to get, we're not receiving the estate tax from the state. Mm -hmm. However, the money can still trickle in if that estate is tied up in a court case or something like that, in probate. So that's why we're not budgeting any money coming in for estate tax because it's more than likely we won't get any, but if we do, yay, but we're not going to count on it. Okay. And the real estate tax has gone down because of this go price in the house and so forth. That's the other side. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe that might start coming back up again. That would be nice. Council, any questions? Yes, yes. Mr. I got several. And um, one of them is the Shell House. How come you didn't budget that for twelve thousand five hundred since last year? We took in twelve thousand five hundred twenty. You know, the year before was 10.5 and the year before was 10, so I, I'm really trying to be very conservative on the numbers. If we over budget and then we appropriate against an inflated budget, it hurts us in the long run. If we get more than 12 in, Yay. we can reappropriate it and have that. But I'm, I'm trying to get with real numbers, so I look at history and I back that down just a little bit to 12. All right. Uh, income taxes, back taxes, is that added in? Added in here anywhere? 
when they're when they're filed, then they get put on our books, and that is part of the nine hundred and seventy thousand, I believe. That is part of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I see the transport and excess project funds is zero. That is not is that the same thing as transferring like money for like the swimming pool? No, not in this particular. You'll see the swimming pool later yeah, as right. a transfer out like of the general fund. Into that. This is revenue coming in, and I'm not sure what that line item was for. It hasn't been used for four or five years. There's zeros across the across the um, page sheet. Okay. So it was set up for a specific purpose, Project, maybe yeah. five or six years ago or more. Okay. Um, and the grass cutting, you cut that down ten thousand dollars from last year. There's no way that you, that can be projected up higher than five thousand. What we assessed in August is what I put on the books. So when we went through in August and we did our assessments for people who did not pay for their grass cuttings, that's what we'll be collecting in 2015. And there just wasn't as much as it was the year before we collected for the grass cuttings in 2013. The idea is to budget as realistically as possible because if you, if you budget 15 and we only get five, but we projected to spend 15 because we budgeted 15, then we're going to have a shortfall. Well, so it's better to project realistic numbers, well, and that's what we tried well, to do. Well, last year, and I hate to say, Richard put $50,000 into the revenue. I asked him where the $50,000 coming from, and he said, well, he just puts it in there. Yeah, so it made it very difficult this year, last year. Not, Realistic. It's either. not in there this year. Well, yeah. that wasn't realistic either. Well, that was I'm last to, year. I'm trying. To, yeah. Her first time, our first time. Yeah, yeah. Anyone we, else? Before you finish up. Anyone Thank else? You. Questions? Okay, second. All right, so that is our revenue for the general fund. So one million three hundred and forty three thousand for everybody else that doesn't have a paper is what we're working on for our appropriations. Next page, now we start our appropriations. First page is our council. These will start being real consistent on each page. The top of it is always our wages. Um, pretty much a duplicate. The only thing up on that is the, let's see, yeah. workers comp again. Came further a little bit. Mm -hmm. Am I included in the council's figures? You are, okay. yeah. Contractual um, services, 475. It was 344 last year and 1,100 the year before. So 475 might be a little low, but that's um, what we're going to try and stay within. Materials and supplies, 575 this year. We actually spent 417 the year before. We just bumped up operational supplies. We're, we're finding costs for ink and paper and um, miscellaneous items have gone up, so that's kind of what's in those supplies category. No capital expense, and I have a $50 miscellaneous. And that's for things like if we end up having to buy a new tape recorder or things like that, right? Yeah, yeah. something that falls outside of a specific description. Do we have any questions on council? I, I do have workers' comp. Workers' comp is going to be high on every line based upon we've had a lot of um, worker cost, workers' comp claims and we fell out of a group rating and uh, they pretty we much... Covered, council is covered mm -hmm. under workers' comp? Yes. I was not aware of this. That's why. Do we have to? Do we have to? Do we have to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. We sure have to that? pay that. Um, Are council? you sure about that council okay. is covered for under workers' comp? It's always been in there. I can double check. You want to help check with me later? We can double check on that. Is, um, Did she say we didn't have to be in there? No, she didn't think, think we might, we're, not, we're supposed to be, but it's always it. been that way. But that doesn't mean it's right. That's why I had that question. I'm just saying, yeah. we're just confident we are. How are we going to get hurt? Yeah. Um, you can get hurt while you're here. That no, it's filled out. Yeah. Okay. It may, it may very well be. I have not looked at the report, but there's a case law on volunteers right. and workers' comp and, and different items. But if it's included, but we can double check. I can double check it for you. Well, but if she's seen that it is included, I would imagine that it let, is. Let, let me ask. It just let caught me, my attention. Let me just ask you this. Uh, part-timers, part-timers, part do they have to be on workers' comp? Yes. 
and PERS. My understanding is anybody who gets paid by the city is covered under workers' comp. It's a law. Mrs. Dicker, since you're here now, would you mind explaining to people what we discussed as far as why we're calling it a special meeting now? Well, we, we'd call it a special meeting. We'd call them work sessions and so forth. We'd have that conversation when we were all together. This is that's a, and how it should work. That's a, um, we have adjourned a special meeting this evening for council to have the opportunity to discuss its budget and um, it will um, be conducted in accordance with the statutes. Well, they, yeah, one thing we got to remember under um, the special meeting the rules is that. I, if we want to have any further discussion about this, I think that we can do it in a different, in a different I'm not going to have a discussion about this. Form, discussion. okay. We can only discuss budget matters tonight. We can put that on the agenda, discuss that in the next council meeting as one of the communication items or something like that, can we not? Um, I would defer to Lynette. You can need to follow that? your agenda that you have set for this evening for your special meeting because that's what the public's been given notice of that you'll address for tonight. Okay. So we, so the reason I'm asking that is we're in a different venue than we have been in the past. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm putting you on the spot, but I just wanted to yeah. answer. Yeah. Yes, Mr. I have a question as well. Are we in a special meeting or, we, or are we in a work session? I was yeah. under the impression that we was in a work session. There, there, is, there, is no, there is no difference. There, there's no there is no distinction under the law. Many many public entities call um, meetings work sessions. Some call them special meetings, um, planning meetings, what have you. Let me say this, guys. Please don't ask any more questions about the special meeting. We can't talk about that tonight. Okay. We have to talk about the budget. We have questions. Uh, we right, 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 if you want, if you if you want to if you want to obtain my legal opinions on the matter we can adjourn into an executive session at a meeting when you have it on the agenda um, or i can address it in some other privileged fashion yeah. i'm sorry i wanted that that's point. no problem i just thought people would like to know we'll, we'll get to that at a regular meeting is it all it is not it nothing besides to do with, this, <laughs> with this page okay we're back, we're back so, to the before i get to this especially no, i'm joking um, <laughs> I had a question. It's probably stupid, but um, when I'm looking under council, uh, just the very, the very first items here, there's Social Security and also PERS. And I was under the, the impression that if you're paying into PERS, you don't also pay into Social Security. You had so a choice. Why that's on you there. had a choice. Some people chose to be in Social Security oh, really? instead yeah. of PERS. Okay. I was not aware of that. Thank you. We don't have a choice. You as council have a choice. <laughs> Fire department, I think, even has a choice, or used to have a choice. I thought fire department had their own fire and police retired that is separate from PERS. They do not. That okay. is, but we don't have it with the city. They're either um, Social Security or PERS. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we can get back on track now, I guess. I'm sorry that I... Didn't You're fine. Here. That's question-wise on anything else for page two, council, on your budget? Okay. Page three is the manager's budget. Again, the top part is the uh, wages. Just to clarify, I did not get a raise. Last year was budgeted short, so that's why this year is budgeted correctly. I think there were 27 paydays last time, and it was not budgeted for right. 27. <clears throat> this is your actual pay, 67443, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've seen some outrageous numbers yeah. thrown out there. And they were going by this number down here. Right. Um, contractual expenses, we've come down quite a bit. We trimmed a little bit. There's some memberships that um, the manager decided that, um, okay, louder. The um, membership dues are um, less than last year. Trying to pick out just a few of the highlights that we're trying to um, help trim the budget. Things like communication, postage, that kind of thing is we get the bill and it's split between the departments like finance and everybody that uses the postage meter. It's not like I have a budget for my, it's just split. Mm -hmm. Any questions on the managers? Council, any questions? No. Thank you. Page four, finance. Obviously you pay way too much for me. 
don't you? But I do want to clarify, the finance department is, a, is four of us in there. The tax administrator, tax clerk, finance clerk, and myself are all in the wages under the finance. That's something that I was going to ask. When, when we get to different departments, if you could let us know how many people that covers, if you would. Okay. How many employees. So it's this number. I'm sorry. No so it's this number divided by four. Well, they have no. different. They have different salaries. Oh, good point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's four people for this total. Right. Okay. okay. Who are those people again? The tax administrator, tax clerk, finance clerk, and finance director. Questions, council? So, yes, John. Well, several. Actually, you know, I hate to tell you, you know, I kind of read this. Um, why does the workers' comp double on you know, this year? Going going back on the workers' comp, um, we got knocked out of a group rating because okay. we had too many claims. So it's going to be across the board. We doubled until we actually know. They just kind of threw a figure out saying, you know, be prepared that your rates are going to go higher. When you're in a group, right. your rates are less. But That's we've right. had a lot of workers' comp claims. When do we go back into, when can we go back to group? Because I know some of them are I think it's term. two or three years. Two, two or three, three years with reduced claims. All right. Well, okay. And these go back about five years, because we're still working on workman's comp from five years ago they right now. They stay in our history for five years, yeah. Well, they stay in our history. Must have been a lot. Hmm? Must have been a lot. It worked. Okay, next one is uh, the bank service charge, and I was reading through. Um, some of the newspapers and, and everything after I got back, you know, and I got tired. And, so anyway, Security Bank. Yes. Uh, I am assuming that this is the Security Bank rate here. Or, it, or do we still go through PNC also? We still have PNC also. PNC still does our um, payroll, uh, direct deposits, and most of our ACHs, um, the money that we receive in electronically is still in PNC until we can contact the vendors that send us the money and give them our bank changes. We just now, last week, after the contract was signed, we were able to start putting money in as our daily deposits into security. Now, that's still going to reduce fees from everything being into PNC. And I'm still estimating only 12000 for the whole year, which is a $10,000 savings from last year. Oh, yeah. But we'll still be using PNC a little bit as we fade them. Uh, put the majority into security. Okay, capital outlay. Explain why why is that tripled? Capital right oh, now, no. there's twenty thousand in there. We are trying to save for a new server. When we okay. put the two softwares together, now we've loaded up a Where? how old fifteen year old server? Yeah, ten year old. Yeah, it's, it's, around, not, it's around ten years old. So it needs it's going to need a new life and it's going to need updated. We have now all of our applications on. On one server, so we're trying to trying to save a little bit. This it'll probably take a couple years okay, to so get that's it. that's more of, almost like a CIP then. Yeah, that's what that's, that's what capital, capital is. Yeah, that's what Got that it. is. Capital outlay. Yeah. Council, anyone else questions, Mr. McIntyre? You had a question here. It's um, delinquent tax collection fees. I'm assuming. Um, do we? I know you said you budgeted in when we get. Uh, delinquent income tax that's, that's put into the pot. It's not separate, so we can see how much we get. I was wondering, generally based on the wages, how much we're spending to collect the fees versus how much we're bringing in. And I know you probably don't have that number off the top of your head. I, I just want to know if we're in like a negative or if we're building towards. I don't have those, no, but I can get that and get back to you. You, you, if you, you can give us that information. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I don't mean to put you Would you, you write spot. it out for me so at the end of sure, the day I can, I can take yeah, it back to work? I can do that for you. Okay. Thank you. And then the delinquent fees are court fees, um, mainly. That's the the six hundred dollars that I put in the budget. We're going to try and oh, do court more. cost if it goes to that far. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Council, anyone else on this page? I want to thank you again for going forward and saving this money on the bank fees. Thank you so much. You We've been asking for that for at least three years. Five more. So thank more you so much. More than that. Yeah. Uh, anywhere we can save, we're still, that was exciting. And no other questions on page four for finance? We'll move on to page five. Page five is your planning director's budget. Really, if you just want to kind of glance through and. One, one person, correct? One, yes, sorry. 
One person. I have just one quick question. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have a lot of questions. I am going to have a lot. I, I'm rested up. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the beach, Derek. Yeah, that was all right. Two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, John. I'm sorry. I asked, you haven't heard my voice. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I forgot what it was. Oh, Randy. When, when Randy goes, you know, he, he doesn't get paid when he goes down, uh, I hate to say down on the street, farmer's market. He, he, doesn't get, he gets comp time. We, management doesn't time. get overtime, right? Yeah, he gets, he gets comp, comp time. time. Okay. Yeah, because he's spending like four hours on, of a Saturday down there about every week. Okay, so he's up, so that's basically city business is not. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. He doesn't want. We're trying to get somebody else to take over so that we don't have to do it, but we we can't get somebody to manage it. But if you know of anybody that would like to manage the farmers market, I spoke with Scott at Western well and and um, Randy. I thought they had some interviews coming up for our manager. As of this last week, he was being so kind of forced into doing it. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, Mr. Zanlow. How many people work in the planning office? Just one. Wow. Andy. Okay, and his workers' comp all by himself is two thousand five hundred and seven dollars. Or did you just apply a formula X number of employees, X number of costs? We pretty, I pretty much doubled what the costs were in two thousand fourteen. And and it, again, these are one of the estimated. Um, parts of the budget. I don't always have actual numbers to work with, but when they said that your workers' comp is going to double, then I went across the board. So we spent $1,060 for his portion based on his salary for workers' comp in 2014. And that went up to, well, 25. Is that what it's based on, salary? Based on That's their gross, okay. yeah. It's a very complicated <coughs> formula, salary, risk, all sorts of mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Anyone else? Other questions? Mr. Rose? In 2012, was Mr. Howard doing two jobs or was that his pay, the $27,796 and just doing one job when Tim Howard was 2012? Yeah. Well, um, we're talking about Randy. Well, we are, but he, he was also the finance director and that's a $20,000 increase and in He was a finance director. Oh, he, he, oh, he, he was, was also planning, but he's talking about when Tim Howard was when Tim Howard. Howard. Tim okay, Howard. Randy started in October. Okay. So um, we had what nine months with Tim. He was he was at a higher rate when when I hired um, Randy. He was hired first of all as an intern at ten dollars an hour, and then when he got made full time, he was still at a reduced rate from what Mr. Howard had been making. I think it was eighteen versus twenty dollars an hour, something like that. Okay. Just wanted, I just had, saw the 27, so I didn't know why the jump happened. Um, I think actually part of that time when Tim was here, he He's did have, well, uh, he had um, Mr. Clark doing zoning. Yes. We did have a, a zoning person, nuisance yeah. control. And so we don't have that anymore? No. Randy's doing all of it. No, my, I have one last question. My next question is if we had, uh, and didn't have, if Randy wasn't going out and, uh, doing it, would it save us money if we hired someone part-time to do it like we did with Mr. Clark? Or would no, that save us money? That's why we haven't hired somebody because I don't think that it does because you're paying a salary. Yeah, he's bringing in money, but Randy's doing it now. You, are, you, are you saying don't ha have, right, uh, have him do lo less hours or something? Yes. Well, we are required by our charter to have a planning director. Well, he still we still would have a planning director, just less hours. I mean, doesn't mean that he's not there doing his job. Randy I mean, does a lot. I would oh. hate to think of cutting his hours. He does. He helps us all with our um, pie charts, and um, he does. I mean, look at his report every month. The different things that he's got going on. He covers a lot of ground for right. 40, for forty hours. Right. And to be honest with you, he did offer to cut his hours if we needed to because of the budget. And I said, no, I didn't want to do that because we need him to be there. I like the idea of him going around looking at other properties and so forth also. We had some problems when we had, I'm sorry. We had some problems when we had people doing it that was not educated in that field. They kind of tried to take the law and do it in their own hands and say, I don't like this, I don't like that. Mr. McIntyre? I think that, as far as I know, he's the um, 
He has a master's degree in public administration. He has two master's degrees. He has two master's degrees mm -hmm. and making forty-one thousand. Mm -hmm. um, and if we to, to go with Mr. Rounds is saying, I think we'd have to see if we're going to talk about getting someone part time, or reducing it. We'd have to look at the breakdown to see how much we'd have to pay in things like workers' comp or PERS or whatever it may be to see if it would even out or, you know, reducing hours to whatever it is. You know, look at the Oh, yeah, I, I agree. That's what I just wanted to know. Like, if we, we could take a look at that to see if, if he's not doing that and putting his hours in there oh, or having someone else putting their hours in that, right, and it would be a reduced rate, we would actually save money. Okay. I see what you're saying. Then. Okay. We all sat on this page. Everyone okay? Okay. Thank you. Um, Page six, law director's budget. We increased the 2015. There was another line item that um, we had money um, separated for the law services, and that's, I believe, where we were separating for the workers' comp claims mm -hmm. when um, we were having two different law services. But we needed to bump that up to make sure that we were going to have enough to get our obligations covered this year. Yes, sir. Yes, you, you're telling me that you anticipate the hours we use, Lynette, is going to essentially double for no. 2015. We, we still have bills that have not been paid from the previous law director that we have to make sure we have money to cover if we get a bill. That's. And, and I, I would respectfully submit that you have a couple pieces of litigation going on right now that require attention and oh, it's no. going to be oh no i'm just letting you know it's going to be the attention that's going to be given to them and the fees that are going to generate from that is going to be different than what you have right. been accustomed to in the past and to Not make for a, improper reasons <laughs> and to make my other comment on another line item when we get to that page under the lands and buildings there is a um professional service lawyer fee, we spent 50000 total between these two um, line items last year and 50000 the year before, so we're only going up to seventy. And that we is incorporated in, all of that is incorporated in. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'll one, see one, it, the one, other one just will have a zero on it. So, it, so you don't get that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no double dipping for you. <laughs> Any other questions on the page six? Questions, counsel? Anyone? Okay. Page seven, sheriff's budget. Um, obviously, every, we know that they're contractors. We have no wages at the top part. Um, when you get down into our budget, you'll see the uh, line item for the professional services is put in at two hundred thousand this year. It was three hundred forty-eight nine last year. That reflects the three officers in January and two for the rest of the year. There's a couple thousand dollar cushion in there that covers the <coughs> officers that we use for the parade, parade of planes and for, um, what was the other? This and today, the yes, for our meetings. Extra duty? Yeah. You have a question? Yes. Mr. Long? Doesn't hurt your, hurt your flight pays for the police on that Not weekend. for the parade. You pay for the festival. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Any other questions? Unless you want to take it over, we'd be glad to do that. We can talk about it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I think I understand what, what you said, okay? And I'm just trying to digest this, okay? And I looked at the contract. The contract is down to 164000 now. Is that correct? That's what the contract that I got. So. That's for 11 months, not for 12. Yeah, we had the three officers in January, and I don't have the, um, the contract with me. But it, it ended up at um, 198, was it? I'll get that figure to you, the exact. But it's in this budget with a couple thousand dollars coverage for the uh, parade and for uh, his services. Yeah, you okay. had you had both contracts and added the totals, and that's what the, this yeah. number is. That's what that 200,000 comes from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Plus, of, including the 2,000 for the parade, so 198. 2003. Okay. That's I, I have a question for you, Lauren, on that. It's, it's communication services. That sort of runs right through everybody. I guess my question is if you add all those up, it comes to a fairly good sized sum. When we talk about communication services, what are we actually talking about with the different entities within the city? 
probably cell phone service for most of the city workers. Um, communications with the sheriff's office probably would be their Mark's radios that we have to pay a monthly fee for, a quarterly fee for. Internet. Internet. Uh, telephone there. Uh, a landline. Landline, yeah, yes. Landline. Sorry, yeah, landline. Okay. And that would be true like at the hut. Different they all places. have we landlines. Have landlines there as well. Mm -hmm. Down the cemetery. There's a landline uh, everywhere. Repair vehicles, yeah. sheriff's office, mm -hmm. or city building, and so forth. So that would all be part of the communication service. Anyone else questions? Just one. Let's, let's, let Mr. Bill. McIntyre. Yeah, let Bill yeah, jump. Try here, Mr. McIntyre. Um, I, had, I had a question about fuel. Uh, this we brought this up maybe two years ago and sort of went nowhere, but we um, were wondering if it's possible that either the city or the sheriff's department could maybe, because I'm assuming they, they get fuel here in town, if they're here in town, to get one of those uh, Speedway card things that they use at Speedway, you get fuel points or something. That, I mean, a We do get a dollars. reduced rate. Oh, they do? Yes, okay. we do get a reduced rate. Isn't that right, Mr. Kidco? Yeah, what you see at the pump on the billboard, we don't pay that because we don't pay all the taxes and stuff on it. We had trouble when they were collecting points to make sure that they stayed as city property, so we did away with people being allowed to collect points. Yeah, I could see how that could be difficult if somebody was using it to fill their own car up or they, whatever, they're using their car and filling up and going home if they keep their cruiser. So that would, you'd, yeah, I could see that would be an issue. So but we do get a lower we rate. We do get a reduced rate. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And we reduced the total for the budget since we're down a few officers right now. Right. Should there be a sizable savings? Mr. Yeah. Fairfax, on the call. Gas calls are lower this next That's year. another point, too. These last few years, it's been the highest I think it's ever been. So, yeah, well. You look the check's written. I mean, it's like three, four thousand dollars at the class. Right. Yes. Fuel is not worked out as far as like a negotiated prices of a speedway. They just basically there's no tax on it. Yeah, the taxes and whatever other fees that a municipality or government agency doesn't have to pay. So, but th there is no chance of doing some sort of negotiation. Not like an aggregation for electric or gas. No, there's nothing like that. Okay, thank you. Any other questions on this page? Okay. Page eight, and please bear with me. Without my computer and backup. I don't have everything memorized, so if I don't have an answer for a question, I will get back with you on the, the detail. And parks. Um, How many people? Let's start out with the number of people in each. Number of people. We have half? 25% of me. 25% of how we use your parks. It starts getting difficult because we start prorating different salaries over the different. Okay, so we're saying different. parks now is just 25% of what you're paying. Thank you for that help. <laughs> I forget some of them. Again, is it something, do you want me to go line item by line item or just give you a chance to I, kind I of look at it there? Maybe it will take too long if we do that. Maybe if we just look and see if something okay. pops out. Go on. Ask a question. Do you have a question? Yeah. So parks, uh, gas, and electric. Um, that's, I'm assuming, just the lighting. Uh, parks is shelter house. Electric here. Um, that stage. Yeah, the different light poles. If there's lighting in the parks, uh, would it would it be beneficial? Because I know LED lighting is also expensive. Would it be at all beneficial to switch all the bulbs out to LED? Mm -hmm. uh, we I have had the guy from Daycoa and and two of the departments so far for LED, and we're working that out on trying to determine the length that we actually have lights on. Right. Like switching these T8s to LED is not it would take almost 15 years to pay it back because they're not on 24-7. Right. So that's what we're looking at, yeah. And really other bulbs are is the, the floodlights. And I can talk to Miami Valley about putting those on, but you know, you gotta look at your cost at just the nighttime. Oh, they're expensive. I mean, the, yeah. uh, an LED head is not cheap. Yeah. Thank you. Council, other questions on this page, parts? Um, capital outlay, I got a big Y, Y 12,000. Okay. Well, 2000 is for a floor in the shelter house, or paint in the shelter house. <coughs> he's, he's got his Oh, we brought our capital breakdown, yeah, so I know. <laughs> we put uh, 2000 in our capital improvement to try and get this uh, floor fixed up and sealed up. Um, and then we actually 
yeah, reduced the, yeah, we remember we took the chipper out. Was that one that was reduced? Yeah, did we get that one reduced? Mm -hmm. I think we'll put it back in. Yeah, I don't have it marked out. Oh, no, not, not that way, but for the rest of the wages. You have, uh, and we do have a couple pieces of playground equipment. For instance, the one in uh, Carlisle Park has to, had that spin around thing. Yeah. We had to remove that due to safety reasons. We would like to put that item back in if it, if it's feasible. What oh. should we talk about there? There was like a merry-go-round type thing in Carlisle Park and it was broken. They had to remove a part of it that was in the ground. Right. right. Oh, okay. And I think we need to be talking about a possible water fountain. Oh, the other thing too is, um, well, and yeah, we get those grant funds too. Is a water fountain out here next to the uh, bike path? That's a human and a um, dog. It's got a dog bowl at the bottom. We're supposed to be getting five thousand from the county to be used for parks. That's something a lot of people brought up that they right. wanted to see. We haven't seen it yet, but we're still counting on it. And we have an Eagle Scout who is doing a project, putting in um, concrete pads for uh, grilling, and he's making uh, picnic tables, trash cans. And then we want to buy grills to put in the pads as well. So there would be two grilling stations in the park. So between the grills, water fountain, and paint in here, yeah. those are the things that we're hoping to do for the parks department. If we and can. we already put a furnace in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. 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 <laughs> Mr. Bricks. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ross. Mrs. Harris, I have a question. The, uh, how, you said that you're paid from 25% of how he's paid through 25% of the wages. Where, who gets the other 75%? Is it one person? Is you it our part time for the wages? For, for on part? his? Well, he gets 25% of the wages, is what you no, said. That's 25% so. of his. Of his, of his, pay. his pay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And okay. then he'll be in the water and he'll be in the store. Right. So thank you for the clarification. My next question is. is where is our part time at? Is are they in parks? No. Do, or are we not having our part time no, this part -time. year? We discussed it at one point. I didn't know if we were going to. We actually... don't. We took a part time seasonal completely out of the budget right. for 2015. All right, just want to make sure. Any other questions on this page? Anyone? Thank you. Yeah, I think Page nine is special events. Um, Two thousand dollars. Expense, I think you said, is that what goes to your, this one I'm not sure, I'm messing the, the manager, um, for the setup for the parade or anything? I'm not, I, I don't know what this was. I really do. I'll put it to Especially <laughs> it, it very, it very well, it, it either could be the um, community cleanup, because the 1852 is real close to our That's dumpsters. So I think it's what we pay uh, Smith's roll off for our community cleanup. Well, which we were thinking about not having this year, so maybe we can just, <coughs> we might be able to <coughs> drop that. So we have to pay for those dumpsters. I just thought we had oh, yeah. no doubt. No, um, even when Bob started this and then I took it over, um, Smith's was almost 50% cheaper than everybody else. He, we got him at a super reduced rate, and he has never rose the rate since we started it in 2000, 2001. Yeah, 1725 is what I had, is what we paid for uh, dumpsters. Okay, so that's the special. So that we can change that to zero, right? Or if we, if they were, need to. Yeah. If you're not going to have the community service. Community. Yeah. How we had a question for you. Hmm. The uh, dumpsters, not for the cleanup, but like I heard someone at one time said something about the dumpster down at the pool over there. Too. That's for when the pools. It's free. Yeah. Really? It's, yeah, it's in the and contract. And either one's the city facilities okay. we don't pay for. That's part of our contract with waste management, okay. that they had to provide those at the city building, at the HUD. Okay, good. You know? Good. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, thank you. Fire station. <coughs> so this could be 2000 yes. savings here. Yes. Mr. Zabob has a question. Under uh, special events, gas and electric, we're charged 11, we're paying $11,000. No, that's under lands and buildings. Um, yes, yeah, special events just has the one line item, and that's what we just clarified is the cleanups. Okay. So go down now, Thank it's you. lands and buildings. And it makes a lot more sense that way. <laughs> <laughs> I just overlooked that. Thank you. Oh, no, we squeezed them all onto one page. Well, that's all right. I should pay attention a little better. So lands and buildings, that would actually cover all of our 
different buildings that we have within the city, is that correct? And we're doing a percentage on these again, I take it? <coughs> percentage on the electric. Like gas and no, I think this one is just the city, building, the city building and the shelter house, some of the shelter house, right? for the Because the wastewater plant would be under the wastewater budget, the water plant would be under the water budget. So this is, yeah, this is um, shelter house, city building. Um, so uh, yeah, because that's, that's, that's two. I think well, that's let me it. think. Would it cover Madison? Mr. Zack, uh, go ahead, Mr. McIntyre. Um, I, I did have a question about this. I know we filled out the insurance. When we agreed to the insurance deal a couple months ago, it, the insurance form counted like picnic tables and street lights as buildings. Um, is that under under this, or are they are they are they they're all the same within the insurance, but they're separated how we do our budget? Correct. Yeah, they're yeah. kind of like that for insurance for liability and for to make sure we can get money back if they're damaged. But it's not like yeah, these are just the expenses that we occur with our lands and buildings, so we wouldn't have to list oh, fire so just items. what you would pay on, on this and not, even though it's all under the same plan, it's just what we pay for this building or the mm -hmm. fire, okay. Mm -hmm. so, 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 I'm sorry, going back, just so I'm clarifying, what we're saying on this page is only two buildings then. Well, City we're trying to get that off here. the top of our head. Um, I'll get that clarified. That's the only two that if, come If I may ask in the future, if you sure. know what they are, maybe we could put them down instead of just lands and buildings. We can say the buildings would be here, and the other, that, that would help us, I think, to understand on what you're doing here a little bit more. Because I'm sure there are other areas that you can also mention other buildings. Count it and mm -hmm. it count it into the Okay, I'll get that clarified. Howie and you would you would ask that uh, that was my question was to ask what does the insurance liability cover what buildings but you would ask it so. Well, that's what he had said. Well, you asked the question. Yeah. Any other questions on this page? Anyone? Miscellaneous. Page 10 is our miscellaneous then, and I'm looking at um, most of our postage fees are taken out of the miscellaneous, our state grant audit cost. Um, you'll see that in there. I'm trying to pick out a couple others. Legal advertising comes out of this fund. It's just a, a miscellaneous um, that's not described in some of the other funds or taken out of this one. Codifying our ordinances, which we do on a monthly yeah. basis. Do we do that annually? We do it monthly. Monthly. Yes. I mean, we get the hard copies annually, but it's online. It is updated monthly. Okay. Thank you. After the second council meeting of the month, they get whatever we did that month. And that's published online, right, at the American Legal Journal yeah. or something like that? Okay. Council, any question, Mr. McIntyre? It seems like going through this that all the things that, that we're spending the miscellaneous money on is stuff that we're required by law to do, like the auditor fees, like updating the, the ordinances. <coughs> and is that correct? So we kind of have to do it, but it's it's an unfunded mandate, it seems. I'm not sure if if there's a requirement that we do the codified ordinances. It's still a good idea, though. No, well, I agree. Yeah, um, yeah I yeah. think <laughs> that we have to have those available for right, people. Right, yeah. right. But I just remember there was something that, um, I, I don't remember what it was exactly, but we had to submit something to the state saying, here's our charter, or whatever right, it would be. Right, right. And like you said, the auditor fees, we have to be audited, yeah, so, right. but we so. have to pay for it. We are required to do the codified ordinances once a year. For Just at least once a year. Once a year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Once a, at least once a year. In the past, it was done that way. And if you remember, you'd get that big stack of stuff to put in to have two year books, and nobody really ever did that. So this way it's much easier. When I first started, so you don't need a book now. When I first started here, they hadn't codified for eight years or so. Wow. It was really bad. Any questions on this page, Council? This was also with the miscellaneous um, lawyer fees that is in the uh, previous pages we talked about. There's a zero dollar for the 2015. 
part of these fees as far as advertising are the fees that involve me and the council because every council meeting I before the, I put a legal notice in the paper right. and that runs every twice a month at least. So every time something occurs we have to advertise there's a fee involved with that. Right. So how expensive is it? Do they pay by you have to pay by a line, by the word? Do we get do would you, pay by the line? Would you comment on that? Would you do that for us? By the column inch. Yes. By column inch. inch. That's just like advertising it. That's just like if somebody was advertising something. We have a special very low rate for churches, ministries, and government. Okay. We appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. You're the one I send it to. You usually sometimes send it back to me. Tell me what it costs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, any other questions on this page? Okay, the next page is your final page as we're talking in reference to the general fund. Going back as a recap, page one was our revenue, 1,343,000. This last page on 11 is our transfers from the general fund to obligations that we have. Um, the first one you're going to see with money, I put 5,500 for the pool, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, going down from the next one is Twin Creeks, $155,000 is going to be needed to be transferred to the Twin Creeks line item. And your budget, what I gave you at the end of the year, and, we, and you'll probably remember in the beginning of the year we had a lot of funds that were negative and we worked all year to try to get money to get those out of the red. One account is still standing and that's Twin Creeks. It's $68,000 in the red. The only reason we did not take care of it with our general fund is we did not have enough. General fund ended in 50, with 52000 so we did not have enough to transfer that. We have to get it in this budget. That money is our first obligation by law, and I believe that's from everything that I know on the auditor's end. So that 155000 is taking the 68000 that is starting out in the red and adding its payment that we're going to owe this year. The next one is the general obligation, 105000 and that one is um, for the two debt payments that we have to get that covered. With that totaling in with your expenditures and the 52000 that we start out to bring into the appropriations, we're going to have an ending balance of $195 if everything on this budget that we just talked about stays as those numbers. If we get more income, it would be a lot easier to work with. But it's we, we cut where we can, and, and we can still tweak and look at things and get your suggestions. But it's, it's, the, it's the revenue that we really need this to help us have the money. Uh, so so we could get the lots out of Twin Creeks in our names and then possibly sold. That would help us tremendously. Absolutely. And from what little bit of information that we're working on on Twin Creeks, and I'm not the, the expert on it, but I've been told that even if we sell it, we're still going to have debt for years. Right. And that has to come out of the general fund. And the debt obligation is a legal one. We have to have that in there before any other wants or needs. We've got to make sure we have that in there. I just want to make the, that clear when you look at That's one of what the situations we've been on board, and that's one of them that our new law director is working on to try and get it completed for us. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Go ahead. How, okay, if we get them back and sell them, how are we still going to get Because we still have the $600,000 infrastructure. Um, infrastructure that they and took bottom. out for 20 years. Okay, but doesn't that, when someone buys them, pay that because you've got that fee every month? They, when they, no, um, they're paying, when they buy a lot, they're taking over their $700, is it 700 or 7000 you pay it's a year? $65 a month. Right, that goes towards the assessments. Right, and that's what I thought you were talking about. Right. Um, the way I understood it, the back assessments were dropped through the reutilization process. Right. That doesn't, if they're dropped, that means nobody's paying them. So that means that 600,000 debt is still there. But 
But if I go out and you sell them and bid whatever and buy one of those lots, I automatically pay, start paying you sixty-five dollars. The future month, the future for twenty years, right? Right, right. But that's not going to add up to the six hundred thousand. Okay. Story. We'll talk about it later. I'm yeah. still confused on that. Sure. Well, I thought the debt was to go away. Believe me, I'm confused. <laughs> Twin Creeks is a black hole. It's, it's, yeah, it I'm just not sucks your brain. Mr. Yeah. Adams has a question. Go ahead, sir. How much do you say we're going to have left over at the end of the year? Again, I mean, we just cut our police and we were going to be yeah. supposedly good, and you would say like a hundred something. We never said it was going to be good. We never said well, it was going to be. Well, well, actually, that, yeah, well, actually, that the quote was, "We'll be fine." And maybe not good, but it was, "We'll be fine." And now we're going to have a hundred and how much was it again? So I want to write this down. You said we're only going to have a hundred right something. On your, it's on the. Your your paper shows what. 83 in the in the Next red, in the red. Yeah. and we've already made a few changes earlier today. I've got it in the black. All right. It's so our deputy 000. cut, cutting our deputies was to pay off to was to pay the the Twin Creek Service Fund essentially because we didn't pay it last year is what you're saying, right? Because it was in the red. Twin Creeks is just a, a portion of your general fund. Well, every it, every page eight, one eight point five percent of our of our general <coughs> fund is in government uh, is in a uh, debt. Uh, reduction according to the standards and pores, 8.5 percent. Uh, strong debt uh, and contingent liabilities with the total That's government That's not just general fund. That's OPWC. It's ODNR. It's all the loans that the city has. Remember that chart that Richard, Richard gave us. Richard yeah, like us right. It's not just general fund debt. It's all the debt is what they're talking about. What is it like? What six? When, when we work on our budget, too, the, the best thing, it changes daily. Oh, you know, yeah. the income that we estimated for our tax budget back in July has changed a lot since this meeting in February. Those numbers are pretty well locked in now. Expenditures, we go with history. We try to watch what we're spending. We kind of know the things that we, that we have obligations for, and we got to put those in. But, yeah, that is your... Your ending balance, if we're only going to be bringing in $1.3 million, we brought in last year $1.4. We had a lot more money to work with. And we cut the budget that we had appropriations approved for by 100000 last year. And we knew when we were talking about this that it was going the wrong way. And that's why we've been working on cutting. And that's why you guys put this ballot out for the tax um, increase. We talked about this way last summer and the other changes. Well, that's that why we did the street levy back in 2010. We started talking about knowing, knowing we had to do something, and then it didn't pass, and we put that on again, and, and we did the franchise fee with uh, waste management to try to bring in some more money. And, um, you know, that's in December when we had our first budget work session to talk about cuts, we knew then that we didn't have the final number because she hadn't closed the year out yet. And, so we didn't know for sure where we were. You asked to do a projection for where we would be at the end of 2015, and she did the best she could in December based on still having the month of December to, before we could close the year out. So, so the 200000 did help, absolutely. It kept us out of the red. We're not in fiscal watch, and we're budgeting for this year based upon what we know we've got coming in and what we've got. But if, if you see, as we go through these pages, there's not a lot of fat to trim. I mean, we have really gone over and over and over. And yes, there are going to be some that we're not going to spend all of it, but we're hoping that we also don't have expenses that are in there that aren't accounted for, things that break, things that, you know, will need, need immediate attention. So what was the figure that you had again in the black for that final figure? $195. $195. $195. Thank you. Was the ending balance for this year? No. That's, that's for oh, 15. Yeah, that's what 15. we're projecting for yeah. the okay. 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 And that's with the police department being cut? Yes. Right. Okay. Without additional funds coming in. Okay. So this 8304 is not the correct one. That's, that's 195 is required. We've already, we've already okay. transferred a little bit Howie this afternoon. Howie and Colleen and I sat down and tried to get that number not to be a negative. So we were looking where else we could switch it. So that page from Friday that you got is... Well, I think it got us by and made payments for a couple years after Mr. Crate died, but I don't think it was enough for the... Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we got put into a dark hole when we were trying Black to... Black hole, it sure is. But this, is, this brings us to the question that everybody is dancing around. Cool. Now, I saw you that you had zero in there. 
I, I put in 5,500 transfer to the right. pool, and you'll see in the pool funds what that 55 is liability, a little bit of, um, you know, the, the electric bill that we've already received in. Whether it's open or closed, it's, we're going to have to pay. It's a basic minimum keeping it closed but operating. You know, keeping well, you it have secure. To do something like I said, the insurance. Yeah, like that to go that's the 5,500. Just for insurance for the pool. Um, and the lights, the, the utilities that are running right now that we've already encumbered. All right. So, and so my question is, and like, you'll see that in the fund, in the pool fund when we get to it exactly. I, and I can all right. go to that page. I can wait. I can wait. I, okay. I, I'll wait. So should we set that page aside in case we need to reflect on it as we keep moving? Page 11. Unless you're finished with it, we can just keep moving. Yeah, page 11. Okay. Uh, we're at 12, aren't we? Yeah, we're at 12. I just said 11. Okay, so page 12 is your street construction revenue. Um, our revenue there comes from motor vehicle license and from state gas tax. It's pretty consistent through the years. The only thing we um, had some miscellaneous receipts last year. I didn't put any in because I don't know what miscellaneous receipts we might get in this year. So we have 210500 to work on. That's on your page 12. Your next page is your appropriations against that street construction expense. Do we have any questions on the revenue? Yeah, didn't we, uh, wasn't there something passed a couple years ago that we were supposed to, that, that we get 20000 30000 was, it was supposed to be seed money from grants. That's our street levy, yeah. yes. That was 100000 right. It doesn't say, is that added in here anymore? This I, is street construction, different fund, completely yeah, different Yeah, we have fund. a different fund. There's like multiple, <laughs> just to keep it confusing. That's why I got out of the yeah. <laughs> so the expenses on page 13 are to come out of the revenues that we have on page 12. Right. <clears throat> How many wages do we have in street construction? Um, street yeah. construction. I think it's three. I think Mr. Lowry three. brought it up the last meeting that we had talking about the motor vehicle license and uh, getting them taken care of at our local establishment. That's where we're getting the fees on that. It would be good to keep it here, to say the least. So we need people to, instead of going ahead and mailing it in, we need them to go up there and actually utilize the, the facility. So that would help us there also. Uh, to be honest with you, I think the money is collected, whether you pick it up in Huber Heights or in Troy. However, they will close the office if the count is down. That's why we need them to go in there. We need bodies to show up and do transactions. The money may not change, but we don't want them to close the office. So that's why we need them to, sorry, I just got to. Not a problem. Well, that clarifies me. That's yeah. good. Any questions on this page? Page 12? Yes. Oh, we're on 12 or 13? Uh, well, we're on 13. Oh, okay. 12th Revenue, 13? Yeah, we're on 13 now, right? 13. Page 13 is the, uh, are you done or we're just now on 13? We're just now we're starting on 13. 13. Okay. Yeah, so we're ready for 13. Okay, so 13 is your expenses for the street construction fund. How many people? Fund. I think three. Three? Three. 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 We don't have our breakdown. Uh, these people are paid out of different accounts, even though they work on the street. Yeah. And some of them, like Howie, is split out a little bit more. So. Kiko, are you on that one as well? No, I am not in the uh, street. Thank you. I have a question. Then I know Mr. Fast. Mr. The, the budget that you have, Mr. Kitko, for your department, it's broken down. Is there any way that we could get that? Because, like, I think that might be helpful for us to look at it. Because you're, I don't know what, I don't know anything at the same one. I don't have a, I don't have a budget except for my wages and benefits, and those are uh, split out through four departments, 25% each. Oh. I don't have, like, um, like my Jeep gas or whatever. Um, no, one you time. meant for his people. I meant for your people, not for you. I meant oh. for your people, so we. So. It's, it's all in here. This, uh, this well, like I was like wanting to see like, how, like it just says like in the general broad terms of one hundred and seven thousand six hundred and forty dollars and nineteen cents. I wanted to see like. That was in what it, in your tax not. budget when you received it. The last page is in there. It's a very long uh, landscape sheet, yeah. and it will show each uh, name of each, uh, each uh, title that's in there, and right. it will show a breakdown of each department of what each right. person gets paid. Other, and it'll say half, twenty-five percent. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
question? Yes. Um, I've heard this brought up too, and I just want to clarify. I, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer. We cannot cut, uh, you know, street workers, hourly workers' pay or their hours because they are under union contract. We have right? a union contract that's in effect till the end of this year. Right. We will start ne renegotiating that this fall. Okay. Thank you. Questions on this page? Just yes. one other item. Uh, the street construction that you see is an enterprise fund. So it's supposed to operate on its own. When it can't, then, then it receives money from the general fund. And when's the last time it received money from the general fund? Uh, where was your, your transfer in page? 2012. 10,000. Yep. And how much was that? 10,000. Okay, is that Ryan, projected? Oh, oh, one last follow-up question. Is that projected? Is that ten thousand projected again? No, no, it's zero. Uh, all right. So my question is, is like, what did that ten thousand cost? Just in case, like, if something does break down or something, don't you? I mean, should we? I guess, like, estimate that that, that something could happen again. We have More capital accurate? already in our budget for the street fund. Six thousand. Oh, you have a zero on yours. We. We did our capital this afternoon. Okay. So. Somebody wrote 6,000 on there. That, you, you got a copy of mine, so yeah, sorry. I'm sure to okay. that. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry. So on our capital outlay, we have $6,000, you say? Yes. 13, mm -hmm. yeah. As we go through these, we'll update you on that capital. That was the, the last mm -hmm. meeting that we had this afternoon. Okay. We had to do that last, of course, as it's kind of a wish list to make sure that we were balanced in our funds yes. first. We also cut up there under a contractual the maintenance of infrastructure streets. That is a fund, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that was a fund that before we had the levy that we would use that to do repairs on the streets. So, you know, in the past they had eight, what was in the red in 12, and then there was 17,000, 14,000. But now that we have the street levy, we use the street levy funds for those dura patching and things like that. So it was, and on your piece of paper, I think it says 5,000. And we cut it to a thousand, so we cut that back there. Because we're going so to that's maintenance of inf infrastructure and streets. Right. Yep. That's what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's a thousand now. Yeah. That's for the dirt patcher. No, no, this fund used to do all your street fixing, and that's why I used to have money transferred in the okay. ten thousand used to cover that. Okay. Now that we have the street levy, the levy takes care of that infrastructure, your road repairs, things like that. Okay. That'll keep us from having to transfer from the general fund into this fund. Okay. Uh, I have one more question on this. We're talking about, again, gas electric services. What building are we talking about? Are we talking about one more, more than one? Uh, just the, the, the Quonset hut. The hut on this one. Okay, thank you. Any more questions on 13? Anyone? Okay. 14 State Highway Fund, revenue account. The revenue comes from our motor vehicle license and state gas. <coughs> that line might be prorated. You have to avoid? Yeah. Oh. A portion of our revenue from the motor vehicle gas is split between the street construction fund 201 and the state highway. So we have 17,000 budgeted as our revenue coming in. No payroll into that fund, just some expenses. And our revenues are based on our lane miles of state routes that we have inside our corporation limits. Salt's our big increase yeah. in this fund. Did you get down that far, 12,000? Well, if we get it, if we can find it, right? Mm -hmm. is it? That is amazing how it's, much that's going up. It's doubled, isn't that correct? Yeah, and we, if the salt we use, because we do use more on our state routes to keep them open a lot cleaner, we utilize the state route funds to fund them than the street highway or the state uh, street construction fund to fund those. Now, we're responsible for like Main Street and Church mm -hmm. and so forth because I see state boys up and down also. They lift their street. blades. And, They'll uh, come right through, but they usually lift the plow, stop the spreader, and then when they get past the limits, drop the plow, start the spreader. So city limits, they won't hit it. Mm -mm. You might get a nice guy every once in a while. Thank you. <laughs> for kids to lift it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Mr. McAfee. I actually, I mean, obviously, salt is the, the elephant in the room here, and I don't know what to do about it. The same thing we had last year. It's 
really expensive. You can't get it. It's, you know, I'm surprised there's not a black market for it as expensive and, and demands mm -hmm. as stuff is. One of the things we kind of toyed with last year, um, and it may be too late in the season to even think about this, but there was, I know uh, Ms. Jones and I and the mayor sort of looked up some different alternatives, beet juice, whatever is left over from industrial alcohol production. These things help out. Is that cheaper now because salt's gone up, or is it just not cost effective? We'd have to buy new equipment, or do we have any other insight into that? Well, I have spoke multiple times uh, about the beet juice and stuff. Um, we do have a liquid container. Um, our trucks, and again, it comes down to cost. Uh, the beet juice isn't so expensive. Sometimes the byproduct of using it can be um, the, the odor. But outfitting our trucks with wetting systems, there'll be a capital cost to um, install those. So if you see the ODOT trucks, they had that big plastic tank on the back gate yes. and with sprayers, yeah, we would have to implement those on our vehicles to utilize because that's what it is. It's just adding a, a brine or a, a calcium chloride or a beet juice mixture that so just lowers the freezing the uh, temperature. So if we had that vehicle or that apparatus to put on a vehicle, we could use that. But as of now, we don't. And to buy it would probably be, well, we wouldn't be able to afford it. I'm guessing it's going to be more than $195, right? Currently, yes. OK. Yes. Any more questions on this page? Page 14, we're finished with. Page 15, street permissive tax. Um, vehicle permissive tax, we get 61500 is what we're estimating to receive in. And with that, we do have um, one employee's wage expense to the street permissive tax fund. That's pretty much the first half of this page, and I'll stop there. That's fund 203 to see if we have any questions before we go. 204 is right behind it on the same page. So fund 203, street permissive. That is all we have is wages in there. Is that right? That's what it looks like. Yeah, I do want to clarify. This is one person wages, and the street construction is three and 25, three full employees and 25% of mine. So I wonder, I, when I saw this one, I forgot about that. So you were 25%? I'm 25% out of street construction and three full timers. I'm going to mark you there. <laughs> um, I have a question. Yes, sir. I'm just going to have to ask you this, though. What, what is the street permissive? What is that? What is that? It's part of the fuel tax that we get from the federal government, I think. But what, what is it? I mean, is it, it's, it's, it's part of the tax you pay when you buy gasoline. That's that's all. It's a special revenue. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> Is, is that sound right? It's a special revenue fund. That sounds right. That one's not real clear either. Yeah. We just take the money. We don't question. Nobody knows. Kind of like local government. We ask for that definition. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Two hundred four. Street improvement levy fund. John, that's the street levy fund there. Two hundred four. So now that's the one that we passed here last mm -hmm. year. Is that correct? So that's what it, we're thinking it's going to bring in is one twenty five eighty. I've got 133. Well, see, you've got the, the rollback as part of it, too, so that's the 133. Okay, the bottom there. Oh, I'm sorry. One, so the total is 133. Right. That's okay. what the street said. Right. So that's what I was asking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Spence is in there. We, and, we have the um, auditors. Please go ahead. I just wanted to point out that can only be used on the streets. Is that correct? Yes, and it cannot be used for wages or buying equipment. Can it be used for buying equipment related to the streets? Nope. Okay. Nope. Any questions so far? I wish. <laughs> um, you can see that they're, uh, well, farther down on that, the capital outlay, the print is the print is, you were asking about Mike. Yes. Prentice Drive Street Project. So um, 125 is allocated out of that street levy fund. And that'll take it up to Ken is it Kennison? Yeah, we'll take it to Kennison. We said you may add a, a little bit extra in there to just finish. This, this is the added to get it to Kennison. Okay. Otherwise, it was only going to be about 425 feet. Okay. I also, I remember asking you last year, and I, I know you gave me an answer, but I can't remember. You know, with, with a lot of these pipes that are being old under these streets, you know, like the paper you were talking about, some of them 100 or, you know, 1930s and whatnot, there's no way to... Obviously, money comes into play again. No way to put new mains under the street before we 
play? Um, love to, but the, the street levy can do the street portion, but the water and sewer would have to come out of the water and sewer departments. And then if they don't have any way to capitally fund their utility, right. when you're doing a street job, then you don't you can't put them in. So you're still risking putting a new street over an old pipe. Yes. Is that I mean is that a real expensive project to do? Um, you're us you're usually looking at about seventy five to hundred dollars a, a foot easy just in putting in a six inch water line. Wow. Okay. Thank you. In the, the under asphalt concrete and aggregate, you see where it says there's 205,000 um, under that line item for the street levy expenses. That is what I'm per, I'm wanting to take the rest of it, get some best case scenario uh, work completed. For instance, going out and do some mill and fills on uh, as many streets as I can get without curb and gutter work. Because as soon as I put concrete work in there, I just cut my projects in half. So. I'm going to try and see how many uh, linear feet I can get done for 205,000. That will take the levy down to zero after this year's um, end. You know, amount of revenues coming in, and then we'll have to wait till 2016 uh, monies to come back in. But just see what we can get done. I mean, we can get you know 500 feet, thousand feet done. We're just going to try and do what we can to get some uh, more streets done. They won't be the 100% road reconstruction, so we'll have to pick certain streets that have a good base under them to do these. Uh, so we're just going to go out and see what we can do with it. Does the milling, like, I know when you guys did a couple other mill jobs, you do just the curb side, and then you lay the blacktop over it. Is it that much more expensive to mill just this, or the, the whole street versus just on the sides? Uh, milling the sides is just a technique because if you don't have much asphalt, for instance, um, the scot or plum or plum wood, uh, the, the asphalt wasn't that thick. So what you do is you just mill the edges to give it some place to hook so the asphalt don't move. Right. And then that way you're making the, you're not, because once you mill and fill, you're milling two, you put back two. If you leave the asphalt there, you're already, you're leaving two inches there and maybe adding another two. Okay. So now it's four inches thick. Thank you. Any more questions, questions on this page? Okay. Number 16. Okay, 16, we're in the emergency ambulance capital revenue <coughs> fund. Real estate taxes is our main source of income with uh, homestead and roll backs also. $33,392 is our estimated revenue for 2015. We just were able to also meet with the fire chief today, so some of our numbers might have changed. Your packets I worked on to get for you Friday so you would have them over the weekend to soak up so it's still a uh, work in progress we fig figured we'd adjust it after tonight's meeting so the, the uh, fire chief did up the capital outlay from 14,000 I believe is on your sheet to 22,000 22 you said 22 yes Then the note and interest was dropped, wasn't it? Not yeah. yet. We didn't, we weren't, I didn't get that found if, it, if he okay. paid Sorry. that off. The quint? Yeah. Council questions on this page? This is results of a levy. These are all this money is from levies, and they're permanent levies. That's a permit? Mr. Mayor. Not a real. Sorry. Yes, Mr. Okay. Mayor. Kind of a general question I just been looking at, at the difference in wages between actual 2012 and proposed for 2015 looking at various categories and in most instances I noticed that our first contribution is, is kind of out of whack which page are you looking at? Well, let's look at page helping? eight. That'll page be eight. a good place to go to. I, I have several of them here. I just opened it to eight, so we got that. All right. Our wages projected for 2015 are $460 greater than our actual paid wages 2012. I'd say that's great fiscal responsibility. However, our PERS contribution has increased by $321. Well, 
about 80% of the increase in wages. Hers contribution went up disproportionate to wage. Then you're losing me if you don't mind. You're on page eight, correct? Page eight. Okay. Just so go, to go to wages. Go to wages. $12,891.19. Okay. Very first line. You got it? Yeah. Go to the, go all the way across to the right. In 2012, we actually paid $12,431.27. Right. You with me? Mm -hmm. All right. We're proposing a $460 greater amount of wages paid in 2015 than we actually paid in 2012. Okay. No big deal. I mean, that, that's essentially a wash. That's a pretty good deal after exactly. three years. But now go down to the PERS, employer match. That would be right about the middle. You see it? Mm -hmm. Right. In 2015, it's going to be $4,324.77. Four in 2012, it was $4,003.04. This is a difference of our employer match is going to go up $321 contribution on a $460 wage increase. That's wrong. The, the wages for the 2015, we do not have seasonal expenses in there, and we did in... 2012, 13, and 14. Those seasonal wages are subject to OPERS. So, okay. But, so, then they, should go so down. they should be going down. Yeah. But you, you told us that that was a quarter of how many was all this was. I thought, the, I thought the percentage that we had to pay so changed. So it should be down, is what you're saying. Oh, so 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 did it change in 2012? I'm, I'm pretty sure that it did. 9 to 10%? Did it yes. go from 9 to 10? Yeah. 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 Unless, unless we're picking up the full amount of the purse for his total income. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's, it's also, I think what we need to do is go back and relook at the wage sheet. Because not, it might be, and, and I, I've got to go back and get history. Yeah. If, some, some of the employees could be prorated different in their, in their um, benefits. Maybe that's an error. Maybe that's just something well, that was overlooked. I did it for every page where we paid PERS. Okay. Uh, that could be the page 13. Increase or possibly. The wage increase yeah. is $13,451. There was PERS used to be nine percent withholding, and I think it went up to ten. And but I don't that's know that's withholding. That has nothing to do with us. But I think it went up too. I think the city's. Um, I think they both shares went up. Do, what is what is the minimum PERS contribution required of us by law? Ten. Ten. And I think it used to be like eight or seven and a half. Three years ago? I don't have the exact number. You mean on, on what's taken out of yours, your withholding is 10. The employer match is 14 for OPER. So we're paying 14% of their pay towards their retirement, and they're only paying, the employee is only paying 10% of his pay towards That's what, that's what. Is, is that the, is that the split as required by law, or yes. are we being generous? Yes. That's no. Oh, no. It's, a, it's okay. the law. That and it's just nice. the same as if you were had a job of Social Security. There's a set rate, and it's that's, probably 14% off. Awesome. Then that's where it has to be coming from is yeah. a change. I know they went up. I can't tell you for sure. I know Richard was still here, and it seems like it was less than five years ago. So that makes sense why, but I don't know yeah. that for, well, for a fact. If all you got is the number, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. No. And with these splits, you know, some of them are just... It's on the other sheet, and it's, we can go back and look at it. It's make sure not that an we, item within our control whatsoever. Unfortunately, yeah. not. We're trying to spread it out correctly, so maybe there's a little adjustment. But the actual what we pay is in our budget, totally. So we yeah. we can go back and look at how well, it I would was. assume you just went to 14 percent of the money and bam, put that in there. And if I was preparing the budget, that's the way I'd go about it. That's what I tried to do, <laughs> but I'll double check it. Yeah, thank you very much. Can we, it's 8 o'clock. Can we get on with, uh, we were on 16, I believe. Any, any questions on 16 to 16? Okay. Any questions? I brought a snack. I'm going to be here until we're done. So we're going over to 17 now. 17, emergency ambulance operating revenue. And that's your um, special revenue for the ambulance. You can 
take a look at that. It's pretty, um, let's see. Thank it's actually for, a little less. Mm -hmm. That is up for uh, renewal, renewal this renewal. summer. I was going to say, is there any word about that? Um, the chief, we're hoping to raise that just a little bit because if you remember right, we dropped it down a little bit last time. So we're hoping because it's based on wages and the fire department's wages had gone up. So that should be going up. So without Elizabeth, let's say that we don't or they don't vote to renew it. That, that puts this fund into some serious trouble then. It's got 649000 in it right now. But if we lose the 292, you know, after so many years, and with a potential to buy a brand new medic and fire truck, which was in the chief's uh, town hall meeting, that put us in some danger, would it not? I don't think it would be considered danger. He would have to do a payment that was relative to how much his budget is. So, I mean, that would be, that's always something that you have to have in mind. Any, any, equipment that you fund over 10 years or anything like that, you have to make sure the payment is something that fits in your budget. So, I mean, he's aware that that contract is up this summer as well. So I'm sure us working together are not going to allow him to, and he's not going to ask to buy something that he doesn't think we can afford. He also has other funds that he can use to pay for that. He could put part of the payment out of this fund and he could put an other part of the payment out of the capital expenses. It doesn't have to be all out of one levy. May I add just something real quick that uh, the Elizabeth contract revenue, there is almost a, an exact amount going out to cover that. So I don't think it's a, I don't know what we make in profits. I don't know if it's a $10,000 profit. I, I don't really don't know that, but whatever's coming in almost goes right back out into paying. So if we lose the revenue, then obviously we lose the wages w that right. we would have to pay out there. But I don't know if there's a profit margin That's a in there. That's a good point too, though. That would be another consideration. You'd be paying less people. Right, exactly. Yes, sir. Right. Mr. McIntyre. Um, can I, I want to ask a quick question. Um, it has nothing to do with, with this page, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to go off on a tangent or anything. Um, it's something I'm sure you can just clarify for me real quick. It's been bothering me for the last couple pages, but um, we were estimated at the end, and I'm sure you went over this, it just went over my head. We're estimated at the end of 2015 to have $195 left over. In the general fund. In the general fund. Before mm -hmm. we cut the police officers, we we're estimated to have a less than 400. Right. Um, and so. Based on not having closed the year yet and not knowing exactly what so our budget was. That was the issue before. where yeah. I'm where I'm missing it here is the issue was the year was not closed out and so it was an incomplete budget before we made that decision. Right. And so it's it's not like I thought we were gonna have what a hundred, two hundred, right. whatever it was, money to work with and it was this nice cushion, but that's not the case because no, the year was never not closed out. The, the, the revenue also in two thousand fourteen that we had worked our budget on was well over $100,000 more than what I put in for 2015. Mm -hmm. So we're already down 100000 just on our revenue that we think we're going to get this year. Mm -hmm. Then making um, payment catch-ups on the negative funds that we had and the uh, Twin Creeks, that's another 155000 So there's right. two hundred of it that we just supposedly yeah, I just, say I think we're back a, to balance again. But That's it is. a huge point we need to clarify is, is I think everyone in town including myself, felt that we're, or was under the impression that we would have a nice cushion, but we don't because the budget was not finalized. When right? we had our meetings, and I'm sorry if we did not get that expressed to you, when we had our meetings, we knew this was not the only cuts we had to make because we've talked about the no summer hire. We've talked about people in the office, possible cuts. It, um, the pool not opening. I mean, we were just starting to look at mm -hmm. cuts because we knew that that, that, that wasn't even going to. Out. Yeah, so it was. We were going to be negative 150 or 200 without without cutting. Let's say the police. Yeah. So that's that's what that's what I was. Okay. So I was not. It wasn't clear to me. So thank you for that clarification. Thanks. And I'm sorry for. Because there's somebody who listens to the tapes and listens to the meetings or so. Yeah. I mean, what the that's figure all we have in my head was that $400 something dollars. So that's what we're paying for. Yes. 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 Yeah. But it's 109 Oh, after the cuts, it would be 400 Yeah. Okay, I was, all right. Which has 400 dollars 190 something. Yeah. You know, that's small change compared to. Right, right, right. Thank you. Wait a minute. Did I just hear 
that we were told that the application passed, that there would be $490 left in the budget. Plus this, 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 plus I, think, I heard before the police catch me. Right, I think, yeah. 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 I think and so and that, that's yeah. the projection when I was asked, yeah. when when I came up with 400, if we kept in the same track, right. the right. same revenue, same expenses, same track, when, when I was asked what my prediction was for the end of 2015 this year, right. was $400. Okay. So now we've changed and we've cut 200. Okay. We also lost 100,000 in revenue, and we had 100,000 plus in debt that right. didn't get covered. So we're kind of a wash again, and this is why this budget is so difficult to I work with. I understand that, but I just want so, to clarify that we wasn't yeah. told that there would be 400 left after we made the cut. Together. No, no. Not, not at my time. Not at that time. That was my best okay. guess. So we didn't know we'd have to pay that that hundred something thousand dollars for the debt when uh, when we initially went for projecting the budget out. The budget included $150,000 on possible sale of Twin Creeks last year, 2014. Okay. So until that year ended and there was no sale, now we didn't have that money that was in the budget that we thought we'd have to take care of that. Now we have to take care of it this year. So we were unaware of the outcome of that, so it wasn't Exactly. Budgeted. And, and it those should are the projections closed. that makes it really hard. Because right. if I got all the income that was right. on our budget that you guys approved, we all approved last year, and we would have had it taken care of. You know, it would have been a different situation. So we're hoping this year it's going, that money's going to come in. But we also have the reduced budget of revenue of another hundred thousand. We're not going to have this year, and that's just based on the tax income that we are using to, as our guide. It's already showing us that the uh, real estate's going to be a lot less, and you know the other items that we we looked at at page one. It's a very, very tight and tough budget. So, and what can change tomorrow or next week? You know, we're trying to watch it daily. We really are, but we. This is my. This is the best that I can present to you okay. today. Mr. Lauber, you had a question. Well, I had two questions, and now I'm thinking of another one. It's. Uh, I don't want to jump on you, Colleen. I don't want to jump on you, Kim. But that that really just shocks the hell out of me. Everybody. I mean, you know, I, you, we've talked, we've all talked about it that, you know, we, we knew that that number could change at the end, you know, because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, we didn't close 14 out yet. But I think if there was a chance, and I know you can't predict the future, no one can, but I think if there was a chance that we could be right back to zero again after cutting 200,000, even though it was, you know, you don't know, it was a possibility that should have been said out loud in front of, all of us in front of the, the audiences as well. I mean, because I mean, I was I'm, I'm with you. I thought we were going to at least at the worst be setting at a hundred thousand. Yep. Yep. And as we were too when we did that prediction. But, I mean, Twin Creeks hasn't gone anywhere in the last however many years. It would. Bunch of years. I think it would behoove us if we would have included that because I don't think on Christmas Day someone was going to come in and change it. I had another question, and I don't want to. Didn't pay it last year though. That's why it doubled up. My other question was, and I'm not saying that the city doesn't need to pay its bills, I'm just curious. I know if I don't pay my credit card payment, um, you know, they start calling my house. Right now. What happens to a city when they say miss a payment on something like Twin Cruise? What's the, what's the legal process? What happens in the something well, one like One thing, that BB Plus that we've got right. won't last very long. BB okay. Plus is not um, and like I said, I'm not saying don't yes. pay the bill. I'm just, I, I don't yeah. know what could happen. Well, that's, that's, when, the, that's when the state. Watch. That's when the state steps in. That's, and, that's how. That's a spiral down into a right. you know, watch when you quit paying your bills. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm yeah, not I saying know. don't pay the bills. Nobody take it that way. I'm and, just curious. And I and nobody here was trying to deceive anybody by saying, I. We always thought three, three hundred, four hundred thousand. I don't know where the number, I remember seeing an article where you were quoted, Lowell was saying in 200,000, and we all were like, where did you get that number? Because we never had thought 200,000 was going to be enough. See, I think that was brought out to council. That was brought yeah. out to council. Yeah. Because originally, because yeah. originally, if you guys remember. was what we were going to save with the deputies. But that was we, only one of the cuts we wanted to make. That was only one of the cuts. We wanted to close the pool at 50. We were talking about laying off possibly employees. We were talking about no summer hire and the leaf and I don't know who it was. Somebody had asked 
I don't know if it was asked Kim or asked Colleen or a com combination, but asked what was the magic number? What was the yep. number to keep us safe? And this number. You're asking us this in November and December when well, the year hadn't been closed. I, I understand. I'm not, so we didn't know. You should have had a pretty darn good idea that Twin Creeks was going to be this hundred and some odd grand in the hole because we only had five weeks left in the year. And this was already brought up. But they could Santa have sold. Santa Claus wasn't coming. They could year. have sold. We have a buyer. We have a buyer. Do we, we have, have a court? Do we have title? No. Yeah, we have the deeds in our name. But, but it's been in court 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 court. Court. No, it's court says we, we don't. It's been in something forever because. We have the deeds now. We have the no. deeds. Well, no. we don't no, have they do transferred them back. We do not have the deeds. They, well, it is the, the record of, of what the situation with the deeds is, is unclear, but the county prosecutor's office is going through a process to have another notice put forward because of the extraneous and odd circumstances surrounding those properties, and that process is, is running its course. But to, to tell you as a matter of fact, if you went to the auditor's office, how are those deeds presented? I know that the county has deeds that they need with the property in its name. We also have information that that isn't the case, but this may be a, a, just a technicality because of the very odd circumstances that these properties present. Mm -hmm. And, and no one right. could predict when something was going to happen with these right. properties because yeah, they haven't been. Thought that everything was copacetic. Hmm? And that's when I'm sorry? Well, it's now been called back and said, no, they're not right. You've got to the ball's been out of our court exactly. as, as with regard to timing. Right. There isn't anything that I can do to hasten it other than to meet with people and speak with people. And I believe that the county is taking all steps that it needs to. As soon as I came on board, there was one deed that needed to be signed in order to then move that process forward. And until it was, that process was not going to move forward. I took care of that um, as soon as I got on board. Then, when the timing of how this notice was going to go is out of our control and you know, other than the statutory deadlines as to how long something needs to be advertised and that sort of thing, predicting when and how that was going to be finished was out of our control. Mr. Mayor. So yes. how long was that, that deed that needed to be signed sat there with nothing happening to it I until you know. got here? It was, I don't know. That predated me. Uh, like, do you have an estimate at all? Or? Yeah, no, I don't been know. A while. Oh, that's what I'm assuming. It's been quite a while that the process could have moved. But I, but I totally agree with Mike. I'm shocked because originally in November, Dick had asked the question, and Ms. Harris, you had said, oh, 50,000 originally, and then in December, it was, well, 175, 200,000. That's where Lowe got 200,000 from, and had said it in the paper, and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, we only have $195 in the bank account? I mean, I agree with Bill as well. We've paid, how long have we paid Twin Creeks? How long? How long have we paid on that debt? We, we knew it was coming in 2014, did we not? Well, it wasn't paid. It wasn't. It wasn't paid. No, hey, that's my. That's the point I'm getting to. Like, how many years have we paid for it? And we didn't. But and we didn't budget for that and say like, oh my goodness, now it just fell into our lap and we're losing. We're no. doubling up on our payment because no. if you look back, it was budgeted. Wait a second. If you look back, well, no, it wasn't because you look back in the budget. It says that it was sixty-six thousand zero and then one hundred and fifty-six. That's not budgeted. If you go go back and look, it does. It's. Originally, we paid 66 each time, according, well, according to this, and then all of a sudden it jumped to 156. No, That's not budgeted. No, it was budgeted, but the finance director did not pay it. In 2013. So we have to make a double payment in 2015 15. in order to catch up. Otherwise, so we're going why to wasn't it paid in 13? 13? No. I don't know. Well, okay, I was kind of. Oh, sorry, I thought you were. Speaking. I was asking the crew. Yeah. <laughs> Like jump in there. But anyway, so we have to double the payment. It was budgeted in the two th in 2014. That, that's actual numbers you're looking at. Yeah. That's the actual numbers. That's not the budget numbers. But, that's actual but however, it was not paid. But if it wasn't paid, then we should have known that it wasn't. The, the point is, it should have it, we, we should have known it, it was going to be paid at one point. That's the point. That, right. Thank you. Okay, can we, we've beaten this up. Sure. Quite a bit now. Can we just pissed. continue on with this at this point? We all understand what's happened, and we're, we're getting the figures that we need now. 
You should have had them six months ago, though. Are we on 17, page 17 now? Page 17. Nobody asked for it six months ago. Well, we had asked, I had asked plenty of times. Rick had asked plenty of times. How are we doing? John had asked plenty of times. How are we doing? How are we doing? Well, we're maintaining. Rick asked one time directly to Mr. Sexton, how are we doing? And Rick, you, can, and you probably can attest to this. He even said, we're treading water, but we're fine. Mr. Sexton told Mrs. Harris before he left, you will be in the red before the end of the year. That's how fine we were. Did he tell us that? No. Could we get monthly reports from him? No. <laughs> Well, I hate to do this, Kim. I'm going to tell you straight out. I hate to do it, okay? But I'm just going to put it like it is. We've not been told the damn truth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. You can call me a liar, liar, you can do anything you want to do. The night in this room that the tax was put on the trash office, the user fees, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I walked up to you and I said, Kim, how is this going to help us? Do you remember what you told me? No. I do. I remember it very, very well. You said, Rick, we're going to be real good. Richard doesn't think so, but I don't agree with Richard. Guess what? Richard was fine. We should listen to him. And, and not added the franchise fee? No. He, I asked you after the franchise fee was put off, you know, how the city is going to do it financially. You told me, you said, Rick, we're good. We're good for several years. Richard doesn't agree with me, who was the finance director. You said he told you this isn't going to cut. We need more. No, that's not true. No, that, that is a damn truth. I don't care what you or anybody else says. I'm not going to argue with you. That is a fact. Okay, Rick, Rick, please. We've got so many conflicting numbers going on here, it's unbelievable. <coughs> you have brought us three different numbers that you need. First, it was kept two years. $180,000 was fine. Then it went to over $200,000. We never what said was it was going to be fine. We, we Absolutely you did. I remember being asked, will $200,000 work? And I said, it'll help. When you, we spend two to 300000 every month, that adds up really quick. So one month, yeah, I mean, we, like I said, watch these numbers every day, coming in, going out. We've been saving, we've been um, cutting expenditures, but we've, we're have we starting to really track what this is showing us, and it's showing us that the revenues have gone down, the expenses are going up, um, what we can save, and then something else ends up happening. The transfers for the, for the uh, Twin Creeks, it wasn't in the appropriation. The payment was made, but it wasn't appropriated, so those fund balances went in the red. I will get you some more detail before, you know, on anything that you need. And it's, it's hard when you're not working on your computer. But it's, it's been tough on everybody. And I don't think, and if I brought it <coughs> to your attention that we were just fine, we were doing okay because at the time we were getting our revenue in and we were making our bills and we were saving. But it's just not enough. There is not enough revenue at this kind of level to have anything that works good. So I, I apologize on my end. Thank you for your comment. Let's, let's go on now and see if we can get part of this done tonight. Looks like we're going to have to well, Ms. get together. Before we continue, I have one last question. I'd flipped ahead to the pool. So even with us, it was like th page 30 something, I believe. Um, no, we're not at the pool yet, Mr. Rivers. Well, let's let's well, take it. Well, I think this actually has to do with, with well, I understand that. if we're going to do a page of time, we might as well we're gonna have to come back. be here That's until midnight. But I understand. Let's <laughs> not get into the pool. <laughs> Page 17, emergency ambulance. I'll try to speed this up a little bit. The revenue. Um, I think we already said we were okay on that. Is that it? Page 18, did we? I might have lost track. The expenditures for emergency ambulance. The fire chief has went through his budget and made a few adjustments again since uh, your sheet. The ending total, I can tell you, he went up to 751000 instead of 726. He has um, a very healthy fund balance, and he put in some capital to um, finish doing some floors in his uh, um, firehouse. And work on the bay. Or the and work entrance. on the entrance. Uh -huh. The rest are um, kind of standard expenses, but I'll give you a chance to look through it if you have any questions. This does not impact the general fund at all. No. no. And yeah, if you want to fly through some of these and get back to the general fund, that is our problem fund. I would, I would you, prefer, you let me know. I would prefer we do that because that's the fund that's in danger. I understand. That's, um, 
What page are we on? You 18. Okay. 18. I got something to say about 18. Okay. okay. About what? 18? Go ahead. About page 18. Right, let's hear. And it has to do with the $587,557.57 uh, in wages. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is that what that is? Yes. That is absolutely outlandish. That doesn't add up. Now, we can say this does not belong to the general fund, doesn't impact it, but guess what? That's taxpayer dollars. Okay, look at the one figure workman's comp. Yeah, it is. That's over. That's about a million dollars in wages. I understand that, sir, but, it, but look at the workers' workers' compensation is done. That's what they brought up earlier about we are no longer in the pool, so it's costing us more. And that's, that's one like of the reasons. over 40 employees and two fire stations. I, you're reading the paper every day. I'll right? save this for another day, but I'm, I'll save it for another day, but we're going to talk about it. I can promise you that. Okay? I got a question on that. On the uh, workers' comp, I want to make sure I remembered correctly what you told me. The numbers we're looking at now are not real, real hard for workers. It's best guess based upon an anticipated increase. Is that correct? Exactly. And, and, and I, I do think from after we were talking, I'm going to go back to our comp management and see if I can get a number, a figure, a little closer. Mm -hmm. It would not be higher because they already just threw that out, Good. double it. So it, it's more than but likely going to be less. It, it, I'm not. I'm not, I don't think you're Santa Claus either that no. you're going to find us a gang of money under workers' comp. No. This is a worst case scenario, so there's a possibility there might be a few thousand dollars loosened up someplace by the end Exactly, of the year. and if it's not used, it, it, it stays in the fund. It's just there to cover us in case that next bill is not, you know, is yeah. as high as what they said. Okay, but. You don't have hard numbers, so you couldn't put hard numbers. Not at this time for that. That's what I remembered. I just wanted to be sure. Thank you. Thank you. Any more, any more questions on 18? Okay. Let's go to the revenue. 19. 19 fire capital equipment revenue. Revenue comes in from the real estate taxes <clears throat> and uh, homestead real uh, rollback, basically. Um, for capital expenditures. The debt service on that is actually on the new uh, the ladder truck. The ladder truck. That's what that is, at 40000 Questions? Any questions on this page, 19? Page 20, fire operating revenue, real estate taxes again, Homestead is its funding, 150000 is estimated bringing in. Page 21 will be the uh, expenses. Any questions on 20? Twenty-one. Twenty-one is operating fire operating expenses. You've got your wages in the first part. Contractual expenditures, material supplies. The fire chief did make quite a few little um, adjustments to this, and I can give you the bottom line. He has the total fire operating at one hundred ninety-two thousand instead of one hundred seventy-one. Uh, most of his um, larger increases was the uniforms. He put in 15000 They are timed out, he told me, for a 10-year expense, and he is due to buy new uh, uniforms for the fire department. That was one of his big expenses. And the dispatching services were at 17. He bumped that up to 20000 A little bit of maintenance of equipment. Not a, not a whole lot of changes. Do we have any? So that will either balance a little less than what you have here, right? Correct. Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Um, uh, it's going to be a quick question. I hope it's just, John, you're way off track. Um, in the, okay, thank you. In the emergency ambulance operating expenses, you got under the wages of 515000 What page are you on, please? Uh, 18. 
So my goal is 21, the fire department is $57,000. How many people we got? He, they prorate the expense on anybody that's cross-trained, and they have a formula that some of it's 90-10, some of it might be a little different, but most of the department is um, fire, and a portion so of it goes to ambulance. Do we have more wages than fire, if most of it is fire? Do we have more wages than fire? That is the, that's his calculated amount for 2014. So the ambulance is called out a lot more than the fire. That's one other thing. They have people that are there full time, correct? Two, two on full time, 24 seven. And they're almost a, a lot of them are cross trained. They're EMTs and fire. They they serve. So we bring in when they get a fire call. They bring people in. Well, I understand that process. It just seems like that's a big disparity. Right. I, I see that also, John. I mean, I agree. Five hundred thousand dollars disparity. Yeah, I think it's a 90 10, 90 ambulance, ten fire. I I can go back and double check what his split is. Mm -hmm. So that's something. It's not weird. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Any any other questions on this page? Whatever. I don't believe there's anything on 22 there until um, you get to the health levy halfway down. That's standard revenue from real estate, local gov or um, homestead and rollback again, 61,000. It's been very consistent. And all of that goes back to less the auditor's fees, uh, Clark County Health Department. And then they provide that for us. They do the health department Thank services you. for us. Now, any questions on that page? Number 23. 23, please. Again, it's self explanatory. It all goes back to the county. Correct? Any questions on the 23? 24, these are just um, old funds that are not being used or zeroed out. They just print out because they're still on the system. So there's nothing on page 24, 25. We'll get into 26. We'll be on the uh, general bond retirement. So for, any questions on any of those others, John? Yeah, I did. Um, the Twin Creeks infrastructure sale of bonds. You got question marks, it looks like it's there. Why you got question marks? Hoping they'll sell this year and I can put some money in it. Okay, that's, um, so that's it. And I think I have adjusted, I have the wrong line on That should be zero on okay. the sale of bonds because I don't know if it's going to come in. The bottom line where it says transfer in, that's the 155 from the general fund. Okay, so that should be switched. That it should be 155. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, if you want to change that for me. These will all get updated when we get done with tonight's okay. adjustments, too. All right. Do we have any questions on the, the two steps on page 26? Okay. Shall we walk? Okay, page 27 is um, more inactive fund accounts, so we can pass through page 27 if you, unless you have a question on it. We still have a balance on the bike rate, 2600. Yeah, and these have been on the, um, they're leftover monies when the projects were done, so we didn't have time to research how to get those transferred out, and we're going to do that this so year. So get those. 2600. It says we got the money, not we owe it. Right, I'm saying we have to go over to transfers. Which is Howie, it's I don't know if this pertains to this money at all, but just real quick, thinking back on the on the bridge where they coded it with that epoxy. Whatever happened with that deal? Do we did we have to? Is that just sanded glue sand now, or what's on there? Did we have to pay for it? Okay. They stripped it and left it. Okay. Um, we're trying it out. Uh, we're, we cut trees back. If it stays like it is, we're going to leave it. Okay. If uh, things seem to get slick, we're going to use a Lowe's type of application. Yeah, sand. basic, roll it on and spit some sand on it. Okay, thank you. Any other questions on this page, 27? Okay. 28 also is um, inactive older funds, zero balances. 
as is 29. So I'll give you a chance to look at 28 and 29. You might need to start saving. He's talking about this one here. Uh, Good morning on uh, page 29 on Swift Park improvements. Is that the tennis courts and so forth? Is that what you use on that? Thank that was a grant. Last year, yeah. Right. The nature work. <coughs> Any nature questions? Grant. <coughs> on 27 and 29. Did you start? Hey, that. What do you call it? But the uh, off feedback. So 30 is the same. Um, one, two, three, four more of the. Uh, Two more accounts that are inactive funds. Thirty-one. Is Thirty-one. Water. We're at the water now. We're okay. So water revenue and how he's going to have more history. So I'm going to let him help me on the revenue. The water charges again. Uh, Seven hundred seventy. We did up that revenue because we did put that rate increase in halfway through the year. That definitely helped. So we have. Um, Estimated 786,000 coming in as revenue for the water this year. I got a question for you. I don't know if Howie or, or Kent, any of you may be able to answer. I know the water meters are just installed. Can you tell if any, you know, more efficient or less? Or? Oh, we're not, we're not done. Um, I figured. Yeah, data collection probably they still got to put those up. It will take six months to gather data. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you think that may go down while we the revenue, um, the meters? No, um, I anticipate revenue going up because the meter's accuracy is higher now. Okay, thank you. Mine went up. Yeah. Did you go? Thank Any questions on this page? 31? Yeah. Let's shower the miles. 32. 32. Expenses. Wages, we have? Uh, three full time for water and 25% of mine. Three and a quarter. Just quartered all over the place, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, on the water, you know, the you know, how do you work at the weekends? Is that considered as the overtime wages there? Yes. I know, I, I know somebody has to go check the water, you know, then, right? Yeah, two hours Saturday, two hours Sunday. Yeah, so they get paid overtime, or is that comp? Uh, they get they they get get it either way, overtime or comp. Saturday is time and a half, and Sunday is double time. Okay, thank you. So the water break that we had. On Main Street, just recently, that went over all night long. I mean, was that an overtime situation on there? Yes. Just, just to be clear, for an hourly employee, one way or the other, it's paid time. They're allowed to ch ch uh, pick if they would rather have comp. Swap out yeah. comp time, yeah. but if We're for some paid. reason they have comp time on the books, it's paid. So. Yeah. By the way, how is there any way we can put a little more gravel in that? We, they're they're going to put some more in the morning. It was a little frozen. It wasn't going to settle on us, though. Okay. Go on. I got a question on comp time. <laughs> Personal curiosity. If an employee works two hours on Saturday, that's time and a half. If they choose to take it in comp time, that means they get three hours through the week so far on regular time. Is that the way it works? Yes. Logic. I was just curious. Thank you. Questions on this page? Council? And do they have, have the questions on the um, With no transfers in, just on its own. In 2014, you can see the 125000 we put in there to help, help get that balance. So we have 825000 estimated for 2015. And that 125000 came from a fund that was funded by wastewater um, tap-in fees or miscellaneous um, of its own enterprise or usage fund uh, fees. So that didn't come out of the general fund? Oh, no. Thank you. Um, is this, that's fine. Are we looking toward a uh, rate hike this year? I'm sorry? Are we looking for a rate hike? They just, we, we just, just, we just passed one, one. just two weeks ago. While I was gone. We waited until you were gone. You waited until I was gone. Yeah. I was down there checking out the race for it. Any questions on 33? And then 34 is your operating fund expenses, and we have how many in the sewer plan? There is uh, four full-time wastewater employees and 25% of mine. And, and, and I'm done. And 
they suggest we have six, right? So we're under uh, actually five. actually it's five. With automation, we removed from six to five. We're yeah, they recommend five. Okay, so we're still down one. Yes, tier, technically. Okay, thank you. Is there an, are you anticipating any big repairs of the waste wire this year? I will get you. Were you here on in the initial introduction for the for the sewer rate increase? I did a 20-year projection. If you're not, I will get you the projection and my letter on the things that uh, we plan on. Yes, we were planning on about a 2018 if we can make it that far with a couple pieces of equipment. Um, but 2018, we're looking at another major upgrade. Well, when I was down in Florida, that's one of the big things down in Florida was the wastewater plant. And I'll tell you about it. It's kind of gross. <laughs> we can do that later. Yes. <laughs> The gas and electric for wastewater is so much more than the water department. Would you just explain to everyone why that would be that much more? Uh, the, the basically, in the sewer department, um, they have a lot bigger pumps. And the main cause for this uh, electricity is a 125 horse blower uh, pump. Mm -hmm. The biggest pump we have in the water treatment facility is 25. The biggest one at wastewater is 125. We have two of them, and they run 24-7. You'll notice that there is a decrease in the gas and electric went down to 108,000. We were able to reduce the blower uh, feed and keep doing some lab tests. We are passing, but we don't know if we can't go any lower to save on that. So part of this upgrade project that I'd like to do in 18 is put high efficient blowers in that would um, help reduce the electric and get a payback for that. What are these blowers doing? What's that? What are the blowers doing? What are they? Oh, they blow air into that big tank. If you were to see it from the sky, it looks like a big bubble bath of um, stuff. Yeah, yeah, stuff. And then aeration to the water because we chlorinate. So we add air in to help uh, dechlorinate and bubble it before it gets to the creek. So we're projecting a balance of 17,465. Is that correct? End of 2015. Uh, maintenance of infrastructure, let's see, maintenance of equipment, um, how we did it add 7,000 to that nine. So there's 16,000 for maintenance of equipment. So it takes it down so to it 10. So it takes it down to 10. 16 is nine? Yes. Yeah, we just had another pump break a couple weeks ago that was unanticipated. So the ending balance would be 10, 465. Oh, okay. Any questions on this page? <laughs> page 35 is the pool. All right, may I ask my question now? You certainly may. So this budget here is saying that if we close the pool, we will still only have $195. That's if we close it, according to this, right? That's how it appears That's to be. That's what the number is talking about, too. Right? I'm just making sure. So, if we keep, if the pool stays open, we're in trouble, correct, according to this? We, we would have to put money in it to operate it. We would have to find additional general fund revenue, or we have to find something else to trade it with. Yeah, I know the other side, but my point is like... Any other questions from the pool? Page 35 is the revenue. It's a transfer from the general fund to cover what the next page, 36, is what I'm estimating is operating costs with it being closed. So that's 5,500. Look, look at the expense. Look at the expense. Say what? Well. See, see what I'm saying? No. Good. Question. The, so the 190, the, like what Mr. Reynolds was saying, the $195 left over is if the pool's closed, which it is currently not closed. Now we're saying it has to be closed. If it's that, that's, 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 that was my, that was what I was saying. The number we were given is dependent on it being closed. Is that correct? So if it's okay. not closed, we transfer money in, assumably, we're now in fiscal watch. So well, yeah. well, we have to find where the money comes from. We're going to have to get additional revenue for that. If we keep the expenditures, that's on the other pages. If there's something else on these expense pages that we can cut to find that money. 
But again, I think it's real important to try to get this reserve build up right now also. Right. But, we, but I mean, I was on the opposite side of it, but, uh, but the people who had voted to keep the pool open thought that it was going to stay open because we had the money. And yes. I think well, you guys got duped, I'm sorry. I, I think it would, it would be more helpful if the price for the pool was in here and we could see if we kept the pool open, which we had planned to do per our vote, it would be negative, whatever it is, then we could revisit that because with this budget here having the pool not being open and then it's $195, it's just, it's just very confusing, the proposed budget based on what we voted on to keep the pool open because it has to cut police officers. Um, it's, it's, it's just very hard to figure out. I mean, we can estimate $50 for office supplies, but then, you know, we're, we're not counting the pool, which we voted on, or, and I don't, I don't mean to beat the dead, same dead horse here, but it's, it's really frustrating. I thought we'd have $150,000, $200,000 in there. We're not. We have $195. I thought we were keeping the pool open based on the fact we'd have a $195,000 cushion. We don't. We get the budget. It's estimated the pool's not in here. We have $195. It's really hard to follow and keep with it. And I, know and I think we made anyone. verbal about the pool being a, a huge expense for the general fund. It, but council and again, voted we, to keep it open. And we yes. were estimating to have $1.4 million coming in next year, and we don't. So there's 100 down. I, I okay. definitely can do what you said and put this expenses back in the pool. I have one more. I have a follow-up question, right. Mr. Mayor. Uh, this is unrelated to the pool, but we pay what is it, the Ohio Municipal League, $1,200 a year. Not much. Why do we do it? We get a magazine. None of us attend the training for them. I mean, if you want to attend the training, it's $35 to go. You don't, it's not in the law that you have to be. In the, in the Ohio Municipal League charter, in their mission statement, it said its job was to protect the local government fund. Well, they've done a good job at that, haven't they, guys? They've gotten cut in half by Governor Kasich. I mean, and I voted for the man because I thought he was going to be a good guy, but apparently it was, I was wrong. But you get legal advice from that, from that, um, from but that's that. what we pay Lynette to do. No, but she uses it too, don't you? The OML. I thought we were going to get a membership with it. It's I can do that yeah. separate from this. You just you can make whatever cuts that you want to. It's fine. So do you want me to duplicate the 2014 pool budget to put it's, back in? It's sort of hard. And then we can work on some of yeah, the other. We're having this discussion. We're going to have to go through and, and change numbers and. And well, I, I was just under the impression we have $200,000 and the pool is going to be open and I voted to keep the pool open based on that. It's not. It's different. I'm lost. Well, my, sure, my suggestion, sorry. Colleen, if you're going to put numbers in, put in the actual numbers that you got from the gate sales and the passes and let them work off those numbers. You know, just don't make the number so extravagant that it won't happen. $190,000 is a lot of money. You know, I've said that in the very beginning. You know, that's a lot of money. You know, because we only got gate fees and everything of, well, a little bit, of, about 50000 now, the whole thing. You know, if you can put a budget in there within $50,000, you know, of what they can actually get. So this year, it's not going to be any different than the, the Ohio weather. You know, Last year, we paid 43 just in salaries for the pool. That doesn't include the gas and electric yeah. or anything like that. I know. But look at what the gate fees were, look what the passes were. Well, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying they should be higher, or I'm not understanding what you're it saying? It should be lower. It should be whatever you actually take in. Well, the budget for 2015, you're asking to include the actual gate sales from 2014. Exactly. Okay. Now, whatever actually comes in. That's so going to be about 40000 in revenue. And then you want me to put the expenditures... But is that going to, it, it, but what's going to end up happening is that we're going to still be in the negative. Yeah. Of course. But however, we're going to not going to be as far if you put the, in the, the exact numbers from last year. We would be really sunk. We can't. Yeah. We, we, we wouldn't be able to make that up. We probably won't be able to make up to fifty or whatever it is either. But we're not going to have to pull it off. should be close. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, it's an expense, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Did you at the joint government meeting? Kyle Kohler mentioned, and I, I can't remember exactly what it was. You said something about a. There was I don't know if you guys remember. It was a fund or a grant. Yes. Somebody was out there helping pools because of this type right of situation. That was Jacob King that said that. Yeah, the right hat. Right. Did right is that any? No, I I didn't I didn't call him to ask him about it. I'm sorry, I did not. Okay, can you look into it? Yeah, I will. And then my other thing is, and I know that obviously we're not here to debate how we're going to vote on anything, but once again, even if we close the pool, we're still putting money into it regardless. 
just you know it's you know there's gonna be insurance on it and it's gonna just my thought is it's gonna be another Madison Street so keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, just out of curiosity because I know it's not gonna show up but we just closed it because we're gonna put that budget right on that was under the, the bus on the bus. It's out of the bus. Yeah. It's on the back. Okay, but there is something no, we, there. Is we, already we, we already passed it. We, we took it out. Yeah, right, but I'm saying so. It's just going back into the bus. We're just not putting money into the bus. So, yeah, that money would have been coming out. Yeah, that's if you're not putting it in the bus, we're already putting it. It wasn't, it's just money that's not there in the general fund. It's, it's not like it was money there to start with. It's not an expense that's in our, that we have to cover now. It was never, the money was never taken out of the general fund is what they're saying. It's never taken out of the general fund? No. For this year's, for this year's budget. budget. No, right, for this year, I'm saying for this year, did we fix something to put that $4,000 on the board? That's what I'm asking. Did you just lump it in there? Though? It's just in all this general fund. Okay. Right. right. It's on page I nine. I didn't know if you had something in mind. No. no. Okay. It's just, it's just it's on page I nine. did. Uh, it's what but it was going to be a dumb question, and I've already figured out the answer, so I'm not saying it. You could have done that. I can handle the dumb ones. Do we have that one? Did we, did we already, I know we passed it, I can't remember, did we say that, or was it already out the, uh, the brushing, or not brushing line, but the, uh, the summer clean, the spring clean up dumpsters, was that already removed? That, no, that's still in the budget. Is it still in? No. It, it is? It isn't? The community cleanup isn't? Yeah, it's under the miscellaneous. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's in currently in the special. Every, everyone needs to touch this talk one, one person at a time. So when we take that out, I can't remember what page it was on, but that'll boost us up to two thousand dollars. So in theory, we'll be setting twenty one ninety five. So we are taking that out. We're not here. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions on swimming pool at this point? Okay. Shall we go on? Cemeteries are next. 37. Cemetery operating revenues. We're estimating 63,000 for 2015 with no transfer from the general fund like we did last year. So we have 63,000 estimated coming in. If you look at the top line sale of cemetery lots, last year was a big year. Mm -hmm. That's not something we can count on. The year before was only nine. The year before was only six. Last year, there just unfortunately were a lot of deaths, which brought in more sales of cemetery now, lots. My question on the cemetery would be the same that I had on this. Maybe we should start advertising the fact that we have a cemetery and that we have lots available and so forth. We don't necessarily have to put an ad there. I'm talking about talking about it here when we're in session. Tell the people know we have a cemetery that we have lots of in because we have new area and so forth. Mm -hmm. and we, do you not think that would be a good way to try and maybe drum up a little more sales on that? It might. Council? You, yeah. Do you think? I mean, it wouldn't hurt if we talk about it. If we yeah. just say, we do have a cemetery, we have new lots available. People would like to contact us. Do a little information. Word of mouth marketing. Yeah. Talking on camera. More people than you think actually watch this sometimes. I just, again, thought that might be a good idea. Yeah. You never know. Okay, so if no other questions on 37, page 38 is the cemetery operations expenses. We have one employee. One employee? Yes. Is that yes. Greg? It's half. Half Greg? Half Greg. Half Greg. Okay, we have half an employee. We have a half employee on this? And then he's in streets also? Is that what we Yeah, Greg is half, half of, um, he's half a cemetery. You might be the other. Third, third, third. Here he's a third, a third, and a third of the three park um, cemetery. I have to go back and look at that. I thought it was parks also, but you know. You're a half. When we consolidated, when we used to have larger departments, everybody was paying their own department. Now we're consolidated. It's public works now, so they're all shared. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, how 
How many times, you and I have talked about this before, how many times this summer do you cut the cemetery? Um, it's continuous. I mean, once we go through it like A, we're into B, then we're back into A and B. Okay. Uh, trimming is probably once a month, and then we add a trimming on the um, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, things like that. Okay. And my question being, and you were the one who told me this, you're only required by the law to do it twice per year or twice per summer. Uh, that just changed. Uh, it is cut once per month during the growing season and trim trim twice now. I okay, think. so I will, I will get the updated letter. Greg sent it to me. You're good. If it's changed, that's okay. It's just okay. changed. A okay. little. It's a little stricter. Okay. Thank you much. Have we upgraded the uh, building down in the little house? Have we upgraded that with? Nope. They were looking to do gas and that, and that and so forth. Yeah, because we're still on paying like a propane, yeah. So and just that's something that we're looking to do possibly in the future. Yeah. We're trying, we'd like to actually make it presentable for people buying graves to make it a little presentable. Because I went down there today to work with Greg a little bit in his office, and it was about 55 degrees in there. He goes, I do everything I can to keep heat down, and it was. So, yeah, we want to make do something to make it presentable for that. Thank you. Questions? Council? Cemetery? Looks like we're up to 7,400. The gas line is something, I just looked at the CIP, the gas line is something we're going to try to do to, this year under the capital outlay where it said 7,500. Mm -hmm. um, we added 4,000, so it's at 11,500 so that we can try to get the sewer line and the gas line there. Um, is that something we can do with our personnel or we have to hire do a lot of it. We're, we're going to try. We can't do the connections, but we're going to try and do the, um, the trenching part, yes. Thank you. Council, questions on 38? They don't. That's why we've been trying to give them the change. Mayor, I don't know if they got that. Oh. With, with that increase that takes it up, that takes that line that Kim was just talking about, that takes it up to 11.5, and so the remaining money left over at the On end. The capital is, outlay, you heard me say that. So like, 4,000 difference. Right, yes. so that makes the bottom line instead of 74.70, it's 34.70. 34.70? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we need to solve the rocks. Lots of lots. Page 39, Waterworks Capital Improvement Revenues. Um, this is money if we get uh, tap-ins, we estimate 4500 We have no expenses in it, so if we get it or more, that's great. That'll build that count. But there's uh, nothing allocated against it. Questions on that page? Page 40 was a new fund last year, water meter upgrade. Um, we got a grant of $40,000 to start that project, and the expenses uh, that we paid out of that grant came into 39800 We have $101 left over in that fund. That's all it was set up to do. Do we have to do any matching on that or anything for the grant? Uh, the matching was about 13000 but we're using our um, Ohio EPA loan as our match. Any questions on 40? Council? Okay, page 41, wastewater capital improvements, no projected revenue coming in, and uh, expenses. Got um, Equipment rehab was 25000 on your sheet, and Howie's got 56 on there, and he'll explain what we had that marked. We're going to start working on that um, uh, bar screen and our raw influent pump and a, and a couple other replacements getting prepped for that big project coming in 2018. So these might be some major repairs we have to do, hopefully to get us by for the next couple of years. So that takes the bottom line then down to 6,398 on the uh, 2015. 
if he does that project. If we baby them and they get by, that's a bonus. Questions, council, page 41. Forty-two wastewater equipment replacement revenues. Again, tap in fees are um, set aside for this fund, and expenditures would be maintenance of facility. We have um, added a nineteen thousand two hundred dollar maintenance of facility expense. Let's see what that's broken down at. That is working on some of our distribution inside the plant grounds. Um, clarifier: our skimmer box that we're going to redo and then um, possibly finish. We got half of our roadway going into the plant done. We're gonna try and finish the second half of it. So that'll end up with a negative end, is that what you're saying? No, that, if, if we get the 5,000 for the tap-ins and we spend the 19, our bottom line then reserve would be 10,768. If we don't have the tap-ins, it'll be 5,768. You're saying the, the ending balance would be at a plus side of 5,000? Yes. That's what you just Almost said. six, yeah, 57, 68. And those aren't guarantees that we do those. A lot of times we end up holding off. Council questions? 42. I think we missed uh, wastewater capital improvements halfway down that sheet of 42. Again, tap-in fees of $1,000 estimated coming in, but no expenditures. That's the bottom of 42. 43. 43. Wastewater construction account, uh, nothing on res revenues, and nothing on expenditures. Cemetery perpetual care, halfway down. Uh, we are estimating $6,900 of revenue coming in. That's a portion of the um, cemetery lots goes into that fund. And operating supplies is all there. We spent $500 last year, $475. There's $2,000. That's probably a, a high number. So we could probably change that. But. If we were looking to do fencing, which I've seen on the CIP at one time, would that is it, could that money be used in that category? Probably not. Usually perpetual care we use for what people have put in personally outside of the regular grave sales. We do flowers. And then the rest of perpetual care is for future operation of the cemetery after it is full. Could, if you wanted to buy land, could you do that? With that? I technically don't know, but my, I wouldn't think so. I thought Greg had said you weren't allowed to spend the perpetual care except for any investment that it brought in. You could spend that. Oh, you can spend the, the interest you earn on the on the capital. But Forgot not about the actual. That. But you know, interest <laughs> rates aren't very high. <laughs> I was saying that very much. That was a question. Any questions for 43? <laughs> Forty-four street lighting revenues. Um, we're anticipating to bump that up this year when we do our assessments. It has not had a, a change in the rate in, um, I've got four years of history and it's never changed, but the last few years, the costs have been more than what we take in. That should be pretty much a trade in, trade out. We just cover the expenses of the lights by the assessments. So we pay that monthly. I've seen we right. pay the cost for the lights monthly, and then well, we do this. Seventy-one or seventy-two hundred, I think. That's so what we have yes. to pay. Yes. And that, like you say, it comes in and it goes out. Yes. That's, that's and that's pennies on the square footage. We'll we'll work right. on um, the numbers before the August assessments come around. Okay. Any questions on forty-four? Okay, page 45 are outdated um, funds we're not using. I'm not sure why we have the duplicates, but they're zero revenue, zero expense. There's a $400 fund balance, and then it'll probably get moved up to the other Twin Creeks. Any questions on 45? So we'll um, look over more of the things we talked about tonight. We'll get clean copies back to you if you can get us 
Any other suggestions that we can look at? We'll try to get the uh, what you requested on the pool on that page so you can see that. Thank you. And I again, I apologize. I, I can tell you're all angry and I honestly did not say anything intentionally to mislead you. I did not, and, and I still am very perplexed at how we were on two different pages because I think we all were on one page. Daily. Right. Yeah. yeah, we're, I mean, we spent in the last two days, probably eight hours working on this budget, and I don't know how we could be so far off on different pages. I, I, I don't know how it happened. Thank you for that. Uh, I have to, uh, I've been asked to ask our law director, uh, this meeting, are we allowed, what, what can we say about this meeting outside of this meeting? Are we allowed to discuss? This is an open, this is an open meeting. I'm sorry? This is an open so meeting. So we could say whatever we wish at that point? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What was the, uh, Ethan brought up, something about uh, the, the subscription oh, magazine? The, the Ohio something? Municipal League. It's a uh, membership fee. We pay, mem yeah, we pay a membership fee, and they offer training classes, which none of us have taken. Uh, and they give us that magazine, that City and Villages magazine. Okay. And how much does, I, I, this is to piggyback off of Mike's, if you don't mind, Mr. Mayor. How much does the Dayton Managers Association cost us? Does that we cost us anything? We don't belong to that. We don't belong to that. We did at one point because we had Back voted. Kaplinger was here, but we haven't belonged to that since since I've been here. Because we had voted in 2012 to send a re uh, resolution to the governor, a part of uh, the, date, the Dayton Managers Association. They may have asked us to join with them and do a, a resolution in their support. That doesn't mean we belong oh, I, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't know yeah. if you were a part of them no, anymore. No, we're not. That was my, no. just for clarification. I would just ask, I'm, I know that you guys are mad. I just wish that we could speak with each other civilly because I just feel so much animosity and it doesn't do any good. We're all supposed to be on the same team. And that's what we thought too. And that's what I was talking about. Uh, Mr. Mayor, yes. I have one more, last thing. I had, I had decided I was going to look up what a BBB plus was because I thought it was pretty good. That's not good. It's actually very, very bad. It's almost it's into the good. negative. It says, and uh, a BBB plus is an adequate capacity to meet financial commitments. However, in an adverse economic conditions or changing circumstances are more likely to lead to the weak capacity of the obligator, uh, so the obligator to meet its financial requirements. And so, I mean, it's not that good. Like that means we need the income tax increase. Well, when we looked at it, like it's like, oh, BBB plus, that looks pretty good. Well, no, it's not good at all. It's not A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Council, any other questions? Uh, I, got, I got one more question. Okay. <laughs> Ethan, I'm going to direct this towards you. I'm not, I'm not stirring anything up. Totally fine. I know you're very against yes. the taxes. Yes, but I believe it's about the budget. Correct, Miss. Are we allowed to discuss this? Because if we are, I'm okay with it. Revenue. All right. Just my question sure. is we, went, you know, we, we just went through each line. And I mean, other than, you know, you, you see the pool. You know, which is, you know, depending on what year it is, how hot it is, anywhere from ten to forty, fifty thousand dollars. You could, you know, we could say we could cut Kim Jones's pay ten thousand, uh, maybe a couple other employees, Victoria, whatever it may be. We're still setting. It, I mean, how do you see us with not cuts, raising a tax with the cuts that that you had mentioned? We wouldn't have to. We just keep holding that back until it builds up, like any small business would do or anyone would do. Like, if I, me personally, if I want to go buy something, I collect campaign pins. I spend a bunch of money on that. Well, if I want one really bad, I'm going to wait a while for it. That's the thing is we got, we got to cut, hold it back, and wait until it keeps rolling over and rolling over, and then it builds to something. That's what all types of cities do. We, here you go. The debt, Mr. Mayor, you have it here in your hand. We're going to be in debt until I'm 63 years old. Do you know how I am now? How old I am now? 23. That's that's quite a while. It's quite a bit of debt. And but the but the the issue I see with that, and I get what you're saying. I mean, I want to buy something. I've got to save my money. But the thing is, is that the city's a lot bigger, and it deteriorates faster than what we're saving that that hundred thousand dollar cut. I mean, we've got roads that have needed to replace for 20 years. I mean that. Even if we cut, let's say, three hundred thousand dollars from the city's budget, it's not going to save up to do a million-dollar street project for how many? No, years? but it, it keeps rolling over, and people will, will respect that, and they'll understand that as long as it's keeping rolling over, we could do it eventually. That's my, that's with my no, point of view. I mean, that's totally fine. They're asking the question. Yeah, I was just asking. I was just curious. And that's that's totally fine. So. Mr. Mayor, 
if that's finished, if I may make one comment. Sure. Um, with regard to the Ohio Municipal League, and it, it makes no difference to me as law director whether the city continues its membership in it or not. Um, it offers assistance to cities if they're involved in litigation uh, by writing amicus briefs. Um, the OML has written a number of briefs in support of adopting a position of law for my clients in the past. Um, and I thought that you may want to know for community building that the law director for Springfield is the current president of the attorney section of the Ohio Municipal League. So I made it a point um, to ensure that I took membership in that to support your local community and I have offered to help him and plan to attend the seminar that he is sponsoring. So to the extent that you want to know that with regard to a relationship with Springfield, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. But the membership and the money, I will continue on in doing that in my own capacity regardless of, of how um, you decide on that. Thank you. I, would, I could add too that in the past that the city has used that magazine. I have my, personally myself back in the days and have used that to advertise for city managers or any of your higher positions within the city is very helpful because then you get a wider audience of people who may see that and apply it to work here for a lot. And their articles are very have a lot of good resources. Thank you. Exactly. Castle, any other questions? Yes, Mr. Zambo. I did have one comment. Can you apologize to council, which I personally accept. I do feel that we were, if not overtly misinformed, certainly inadequately kept in the loop as to the city's finances. Over what time period? I'll say the last the last six months of last year, probably more like the last 18 months. But I don't think complaining about it privately or publicly is worth the time it takes us to do that. What I do think we need to do, and by we I'm talking about three people here, myself and you two, to see what steps we can take to improve the flow of communication. I mean, we're talking about an effective flow of communication for council's perception that there was not one. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is change it and make it work right. And we'll visit a little bit about that. Yeah. Thank you for that. Anybody else? Council? Anything else? Staff? Anything? Anyone out here? I have a question. Sure. I believe this um, will be best here. Meg, if you speak up a little bit, I'm I must be hard to hear because I have trouble hearing. Mrs. Harris, in the previous talks about the four hundred dollars that was projected to be left in the general fund at the end of the year, was that four hundred projected to remain before or after deputy cuts? Just so we're clear. That was done before the cuts. That was at the time, yes. It was before the cuts. To remain before deputy cuts. Mm -hmm. Nothing else? Can I make a motion? To adjourn. Can I make a comment? No. Yes, please. No. I'm going. I'm going to play the role of Joe Citizen sitting out here, and I, I do realize I do work for you fellows. I mean, that's who I work for. Uh, I'm sitting here right now. We've been here going on three hours, and I guess the question I would ask if I was sitting out there, after sitting through this whole discussion, I haven't heard anybody suggest any additional cuts to the budget. Are there any? I mean, what are the thoughts? I mean, yes. I, I have, I can answer that now. Um, coming into this, I was, you know, honestly, I'm perplexed because I was coming into it feeling we had a cushion and we don't. And I was, I, for whatever reason, I didn't know that. And so for me, um, it's, it's like you're playing baseball and all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're the quarterback in shotgun position taking snap two completely different games. And so for me to look at this and say, let's cut this, this, and this, it's completely different now because of where I thought we were versus where we, we are. So obviously, you know, I, I don't think we can afford a pool. I don't, we couldn't afford Starbucks every day based on this budget. So I, it, it's completely different. So for me, what I would tell Joe Citizen is that this is gonna be a complete rewrite of what the plan that I had for the budget going into this because what the actual numbers are versus what I thought they were at 5 p.m. today before I got here.
here are two completely different things. So I don't have an answer for that. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we all thought that we were looking at at least $100,000 in the black on, on what, again, what we were told and what the budget and that's, the, and that's the numbers I gave you. That's what I had anticipated when we were doing our look six months ago. Mm -hmm. um, based on what the county gave me as numbers to project for 2015, I've already lost $100,000. I can't, I can't explain it. It's right. just that's the income. No, I understand. Work I mean, you're giving us the real numbers at this point. No fluff. There's no, there's no fluff in it. No, I, we understand. Yes, Mike. Well, Lynette, I think if it was asked earlier, I can't remember the answer, but I know it's been asked numerous times. There's no guesstimated timeline on these deeds at all. I mean, no, I know half of half of them are in the notice process, and the um, what what was explained to me because the situation is so unusual is that uh, those are being put through and if that is accepted then the other half will be put through so i i calculated in my mind uh, that this could take an additional six months when i heard that information and that's still just a guesstimate yes well, I mean, it's anything, and it's, anything and it's, could change and it's beyond um, and it's beyond our control we're not a party to it it involves other people any obligations that we've had have been taken care of, and that was the signing of the deed. And Kim, is our, is the, the buyer, are they, I mean, are they looking to hold out? Last time we talked to his attorney, they were still on board. <clears throat> I see him at Rotary, and I've asked him a couple times, and he's still on board at this point. Okay. Council, anything else? Staff, anything? John's motion. You second John's motion? There you go. What motion did he make? Did he make? Oh, okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Got <laughs> <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> so we are. Yeah. Nine. Twelve.